Greetings one and all, we are live. It is me, Isnib, here for the Isnib Show, as always. I do apologise for the slight delay today, but that's fine. We are here now, as we will always be going forward. Hey, and there's Metapod. Uh, how you doing, ho? I'm very well. <laughs> I hope you're good, buddy. Ah, uh, right, so, um, as always... Continuing on with the Final Fantasy series, uh, I guess we're like maybe halfway through um, Final Fantasy 3, maybe, I'm not really sure. Um, you had to dream about playing it. <laughs> well, there you go, Meta. You need to play it then, don't you? <laughs> when you're dreaming about a game, that means you need to get back to it. Yeah, I was having dreams about uh, Graveyard Keeper last week when I was playing it. <laughs> I was like, hang on. No, enough's enough. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I hope you're well, Meta. I hope anyone else who's currently viewing is well. Um, I hope you all had a good day so far. I know it's still uh, early in the day for you, Meta, but uh, I hope you've had a good morning. And you had a good evening last night when we uh, left you. Um, you know, I always have like something I've planned to say, and then I'm like, what? what was it? <laughs> yeah, six or seven mobile games. See, the mo mobile go made games for me is just something to do when you've got a spare five or ten minutes. But if you've got six or seven on the go, <laughs> that's going to take up all of your time, isn't it? You do you play one for twenty minutes, and you play the next one for twenty minutes, and you before you know it, the day is gone. But look, as long as you're enjoying the metal. I shouldn't worry about it, but, you know, I, I feel like however good a mobile game is, it's, you know, it's not going to be um, an actual game, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that is the case. Especially if they look nice and sound nice and uh, you've got, you've got fun little, uh, you know, gameplay mechanics. You know, it's got a nice sense of progression about what you're doing. I could definitely see that. Um, and mobile games are getting better. Not that I'm any kind of expert on it. You would know better than I would, Meta. But, um, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Only you can decide, buddy, whether, you know, that's six or seven is, you know, five or four too many. <laughs> it's up to you. But um, hopefully... The sound is okay today, and we have no technical issues with everything. I do hope so. We'll just have to dive in and see how it goes. So, Meta and anyone else, if you have any issues with the sound, let me know, and I'll uh, I'll we'll try and fix it. Oh, right, Genshin Impact has a mobile game as well. Oh, wow. Okay, so Genshin Impact was... It's the same game. Well, that's pretty impressive for a phone game, because um, when it came out recently on the PC and PS4, well, I know a lot of people were pretty excited about it, and I think people are still playing it now, aren't they? I should probably check it out at some point, but... Like I <laughs> I've not even had a chance to play... Uh, Omnia Opera at all, really? Don't don't tell me that. Oh, <laughs> I've got too much to do as it is. <laughs> but it's fine. Look, all things in due course. Everything's eventual. I feel one thing at a time, though. That's that's my uh, philosophy. You know, there's too much to do. Just focus on one thing at a time, and we'll get there eventually. And the thing we are focusing on at the moment, of course, is Final Fantasy three. Now, I've definitely been enjoying it. Um, it's probably been too long since I last played it, because I'm not really remembering too much about it. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about it compared to the first two. We'll have a bit of a discussion about that when we get to, when we get to the end. Um, when I could, you know, I've got, I've, we've played the whole game, and then I can g give my full opinion on it. So, um... Without further ado, let's get back into it, and hopefully we don't have too many issues with everything. 
Here we go. Oh, okay. That's a bit of a problem, isn't it, with the game? You know, you know, graphics, sounds, arguably even gameplay. You know, obviously gameplay is the more important of those, but <sighs> weak controls, oof, that can kill a game. Even if everything else is 10 out of 10, if the controls aren't good. Eee. Now, maybe, you know, I've played, we've all played games with the controls that aren't that great, but if, um, if you can't get used to them, then it's, it's kind of a, a game breaker, isn't it? Anyway, let's uh, let's see what we, I've been doing on Final Fantasy three. Now I've been leveling up a little bit of the jobs uh, earlier today, not for very long, and uh, a little bit last night. So I've not really done too much, but. Um, Yeah, it's funny that, isn't it, Meta? Um, d different people take to different things differently. Um, we've all played games where the moment you start playing it, you're like, ah, oh, these controls are flawless. Just perfect, absolutely perfect. Um, one example of that we've played recently would be like the Resident Evil 2 remake. Just a an absolute joy to play because you feel like you have absolute control over everything you're doing. And if you make a silly mistake you know it's on you. And then there's games that you want to get into, but it just feels so awkward to try and play it. You kind of feel like, you know, and, in, and for other people, it might be fine. They might be like, okay, I've got a little bit of adaptation to do here, but, you know, 15 minutes later, they're like, okay, I've, I've got the hang of it. And then for others, you just, it feels so awkward that, it's almost like the juice isn't worth the squeeze, as it were, you know. Now, if there was only one video game that existed, that wouldn't be a problem. But when we've got so many choices nowadays, you've only got so much time. You've got a lot less time than get than there are games, so you've got to pick and choose a little bit. So, uh, ah, okay, there we go. Yeah, it's a little bit like... Um, when I played Super Metroid recently, it's it's whatever you get used to. Like the default controls are fine, but I always end up remapping, and then you get used to it. I think it all depends on the game, doesn't it? But um, yeah, that's good. You know, like I say, sometimes you can force yourself to get used to something. But I don't know. I feel like in this day and age, any game that doesn't have remappable controls. I think that's like that's kind of an oversight. That's a bit short, you know, short-sighted, isn't it? It's um, there's no need or reason for it. Anyway, okay, so um, here we are. We've just I can't remember the name of the city to be honest. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, Saronia, Saronia, of course. Now I've done a little bit of battling outside. Uh, I should probably change their jobs. So what I've done, right? I've got Luneth up, get, got his white mage up, so that's ready if he needs it. And now we switch back to his Dark Knight to try and level that. Um. So Ark, what did I do with Ark? Uh, yeah, finished on his monk, and I've started working on Bard a little bit just to see if that's any use with its random non. Known buff. Uh, not really sure. We'll, I'll, maybe I'll level it a bit more during the week and see if we get some use out of it. Right. Uh, Raphia's Black Mage is ready to go. Uh, and I'd started on a Revoker, but maybe we'll come back to that later. Uh, what else? Ingus. Right. Knight's up there. And I've been playing with Dragoon a little bit. Now, Dragoon, actually, when you've actually got a couple of spears on him, Actually, he's put, puts out some good, good damage. Um, so, let's see. So, I guess we'll leave Luneth with, on Dark Knight for now. Well, I guess we'll switch Ingus back to Dragoon. Dragoon.
Oh, okay. Interesting. That would be a little random quirk. And I'll have to remember that for when we play Final Fantasy V. Okay. We see a piano, play it. And I think I've only played two pianos. So <laughs> I don't know. And obviously it's got different buffs as well. But it's like, if you get your bard to buff the party in the first round of combat, then the question becomes, what, what are they going to do the rest of the combat? Because their melee attack is awful, and they don't really seem to have any other abilities. So, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll come back to it. Um, right, so yeah. Ingus, uh, go for Dragoon. Right, Ark will get on back, back on his White Mage. And... Mm, Let's put Rayfrey on Red Mage just for the, the usefulness of Red Mage. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to go out of my way to do that. However, when we get to Final Fantasy V, I appreciate the tip there, Matt. I'll, I'll definitely be keeping an eye out for any pianos. Um, yeah, there we go. Right, so let's get everyone appropriately formed and equipped. Geared up. Now, I did go around uh, Seronia and I went, like, I bought, went to the shops and things and uh, bought some new equips and uh, spells and that. Um, in fact, I should probably sort the magic out. There we go, give that to Ark. Yeah, there we go. Look, I've got Thundaga, level 5. A raise might be useful. Raise, probably not so useful. Oh, of course, Blizzarga as well. So, we've got some good black magic. Um, in fact... No, I'll just leave that as it is for now. I don't want to get, you know, complicate things. Hey, all right there, Mike. How you doing today, buddy? I hope your uh, connection is all right today. <laughs> I hope you've had a good day as well and you're doing all right. Ah, okay, cool. I think that goes a long way, doesn't it? I don't know about you guys. Um, playing a game on your own is good, but playing a game with a friend kind of raises the bar slightly. So even if maybe you're not feeling the game on your own, getting the enjoyment of playing with a friend does, you know, obviously the the epitome of a good game is playing an amazing game with a group of friends. Obviously, that's not always possible, depending on the game. Um, right, sorry, I'll get back to doing my equips. Uh... Right, so at least I can make use of some of this uh, this good dragon armor, which presumably only dragoons can use. Yeah, you'll have to wait and see, Metal. You never know until you start playing the game. Oh, excellent. Welcome, Jess. I'm glad you're here, hun. I hope you're well, and I hope you've had a good day. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> just hoping everyone's all right, and uh, we'll have a good uninterrupted stream today. <laughs> Hopefully. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. Uh, right. Raphael. Get you some nice equips on, hun. I like how a feathered hat... Presumably, the red mage hat she's wearing kind of protects your head more than a mithril helm. I don't know <laughs> how that works exactly, but that's, that's fine. Um, right, what we got here? Okay. You know what? Now, the swords I've currently got, apart from my two best swords that um, Luneth's using on his Dark Knight, are actually not as good as the daggers I've currently got. So... 
you know what? I'm going to actually give uh, Raytheon daggers to start with <laughs> uh, until we find some better swords, I guess. I guess there's no reason not to, is there, really? Um, there we go. Right, we're all good. So, first things first, let's go and speak to Prince Alus. Well, King Alus now. See if he's got any info or insight or, you know, just offer him commiserations and congratulations, I guess. Sorry, let me get this mic in a way so I can actually see you guys in chat. There we go. So I'm not like leaning over. <laughs> there we go, that spell. Right, King Alice. I must not let my father down. Not only must I bring peace to Saronia, but the whole world as well. There is much work to do, and there will be time to mourn later. Please. Feel free to take anything in Saronia that may help you on your journey. That is the least we can do. Okay, we've already done that. Thank you, King Alice. Um, so I guess there's not too much we're getting from him. Yeah, I'm very well, Jess. Thank you for asking, hun. Yeah, we already robbed uh, the castle, didn't we? <laughs> At least we're not doing a link and just going into people's houses and smashing things. Um, <laughs> see, I didn't realise this yesterday, but as I was uh, doing a little levelling last night, so I can understand why the uh, courtyard outside the castle is paved, but why is, why is the whole town paved with forests in it? This should be all grassland, shouldn't it? But never mind, it is what it is. So, so I guess we'll just go and do a little rest at the inn. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Um, here we go. Yeah, I hate that, Jess, as well. You've got technical issues. It kind of just throws everything out of the loop. It's like when you have a day when your internet doesn't work. You like, <laughs> you don't know what to do with yourself because you're like, you're, you're relying on the internet for everything. You know, it's like if my laptop suddenly breaks one day. T touch wood, fingers crossed, it does not. Because uh, I can't really buy a new one at the minute. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, oh, right, now that's just throwing a spanner in the works. We don't want that. Okay, so now we can leave um, the city. So I think there's chocobos in one, I found in one of the sections of the city. You can just kind of grab one. Uh, where were they? So I think, yeah, here we go. Gotcha, Jacobo! I think I've turned the music down slightly. Let me turn it back up a, a, a tad. There we go. <laughs> Lovely Chocobo music. So yeah, I was looking, I did a little bit of research on the Onion Knight yesterday as well so it turns out that it's kind of in some ways it's the best job and in other ways it's the worst job now it's the best job because it can equip every single magic and every single weapon and every single piece of armor it's the only class that can do that sorry the only job that can do class job interchangeable words aren't they so that's quick that's pretty amazing really i think um, however, its base stats are much weaker than any other job overall until you get it to a certain job level, which sounds good. However, it is the job that takes the longest to level up the job level. So basically, if you want to make use of onion and an onion knight, you have to take the time out to level it up. Now, I could do that during the week. But the thing is, do we really want to just run a party of four Onion Knights just because it's the best? I'm not sure if I really want to do that, to be honest. So, um, we don't have a specific objective at the minute. But back in Saronia, they were def people were definitely dis talking about uh, challenging Bayamut 
uh, Odin and Leviathan to try and get them on our side or, or something to uh, that effect. Now, that's one of the caves we saw earlier. And I think we should be able to get to the other cave because obviously we don't have... We've literally lost the airship now and also the ship, consequently. So we're kind of trapped in a way at the minute, apart from potentially these two caves we can get to. Um, so I think the other one is up this in this direction. Yeah, there we go. So I'm just going to head north for a second and see where else we can get. Not that way. Can't get through that mountain, no. Okay, so it looks like potentially we're trapped. We've got these two caves and Seronia. They're the only places we can go. So uh, on that basis, I think maybe we should just... Well, first, let's do a save because you know, <laughs> don't want anything too untoward happening. And I guess we'll just dive in this cave. Ancient ruins. Okay, let's... Get in a fight and see if we're meant to be here. Okay. Some, like, archaeologist, scholar-type dudes. We devote our lives to studying the ruins left by the ancients. Okay, that's good. I respect that. We recently had a cave-in, and adamantite is blocking the way further into the caves. Okay. Got a chunk of adamantite in the way. Now, I don't know that we... Can do anything about that, but let's have a look though. An adamantite wall crumbled during the earthquake, and we've lost contact with the advanced team that went deeper into the caves. Okay. That's not good. Maybe we can help you out. Right, what are these? Azraels. Alright, God, look at these. Look like something straight out of Lovecraft or something. Um. There we go. Um, now, Dragoon has got a jump attack. I've not actually used it, but from my understanding is it's a two-turn attack. They jump up in the air on the first turn, and in the second turn they come crashing down for loads of damage. Now, the thing that sounds great, doesn't it? And maybe that'll be of some use in boss fights. The issue I see is, uh, is that amount of damage going to do, is it going to be greater than just doing two attacks? I'm thinking probably not, basically. So, <laughs> for now at least, I'm just going to get Ingus to just do normal attacks. Oh, divide, okay, alright, it's like that is it. All eyeballs and teeth and goo, alright, okay, oh! Oh, they hit hard. Okay. So they're not too t hard to kill, but they have got some strong attacks on them. They give a lot of gill, and they give a lot of XP, though. That's nice. Okay, here's the adamantite. We definitely cannot get through there. It looks like you should be able to squeeze around that, but we can't. Okay, so that's the ancient ruins. I guess we're coming back there later at some point. Mm -hmm -hmm. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> what on earth are these? Eater. Oh my god. Nasty, right. Let's murder them before they eat us. Oh! Yeah, they hit hard. Oh, why are, they, why are you picking on Raphia? Oh my god, Luneth. You're so weak, bro. Why are you so weak? Oh my god. That's my own fault for auto-battling when I should be <laughs> doing heals. Oh, what? <laughs> Where did he come from? <laughs> Yep, 
Yeah, as you can see there, the Dragoon. It's pretty damn good once it's leveled up a little bit. Come on, Raphia, get back up, my dear. Alright, divide. Oh my god. It it should be alright if we just plough through them. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, we go. I've got protect as well. Not inclined to really use that outside of boss fights, but that could be invaluable later on. Okay, at least the ones that divide are no, not as you know they're not as tough. They don't have as many hit points. That's something. Oh my god! There we go. So we're slowly winning, winning the battle of attrition. <laughs> Cool. Well, I mean, this could be a good place to level up during the week, potentially. Although I'm, I'm hoping we progress quite a lot. My God, all the gill. I assume we getting, we're getting gill from um, an XP from up the multiple, multiple, the, the extra enemies that were created from the divide. There we go. All right, job level, job level, another job level, and another job level. That's what I like to see. Right, let's get out of this horrible place. No doubt we'll come back there later. Right, so I've got a bit of a walk on my hands now, but that's fine. <laughs> there we go. Oh, well, say a walk. A little bit of a, a row. <laughs> You're not going the correct way. All right, you sandworms. I'm not scared of you. There we go, murder. That's that's more like it. <laughs> Still giving pretty good uh, XP and gill, aren't they? Right, uh... I'm just check up this way. You can't get around the back of the city there, but... Just to make sure. Oh, nice crit there, Raphia. Oh, Raphia. Raphia, maybe? I don't know. I don't know pronunciation. I think uh, a lot of words are open to uh, interpretation. Right, yeah. Definitely can't go around right that way. So let's head down to the other cave. Assuming I'm going the right way. I don't know. I'm sure it would be fine. Very nice, Ingus. Putting out some good damages. I think I went around the wrong way, didn't I? Never mind. Let's go back. Easy prey, excellent.
Not leaving us alone, are they? Which is fine. We'll just murder them all. We'll just plough right through them. Right, this way then. No, this route, this <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> this way, here we go. Very interesting creatures. They kind of look like a cross between a kangaroo and a dinosaur. To me, at least. Which is not a bad thing. You've got to appreciate that. Right. As always, doesn't hurt to do a little save here and there. Right, what is this cave? Alright, Unai's Shrine. U sorry, U Unai Shrine. Okay. It's the, the witch person. Okay. Oh, okay. She's asleep. Talk to the parrot. Una is the guardian of the world of dream. She's sleeping in an eternal sleep. Nothing will wake her. She will never come back from the world of dream. Is that a, is that a good thing? Okay. Okay, that's um, that's answered that answer that question, isn't it? Uh, okay, I guess we're heading back to Saronia then and uh, seeing what's what. Damn, you gotta love that dragoon damage. Very nice. <sighs> love that blood sword. Very nice. Okay, so clearly we're going to have to find someone in Saronia to speak to, to give us uh, an idea of what we're doing. Right, okay, um, well, let's go and have a chat to everyone in the castle first. Obviously, King Gallus doesn't have anything for us. Now, I'm not going to narrate a absolutely everything, I'll everyone I speak to, because it's kind of redundant. I'll read something if I f feel like it's important. Alright, Black Mages. Okay, that actually, that's kind of important. Before he died, the great Magus Noah gave fragments of his own power to his three apprentices, Zande, Doga, and Unai. Right, okay, so Unai is uh, 
the witch lady we just seen asleep, Zande's the bad guy, and we've heard the name Doga before, but <laughs> maybe I wasn't paying enough attention. Right, the only ones who are capable of creating an earthquake of that magnitude are three wizards of the Dalg continent. The Nautilus's engine should be powerful enough to get you past the winds that guard Dalg through the arrow shaped promontory. Prom promontory. Promontory? I'm not even sure if I've ever heard that word before. <laughs> Warriors of the Light, you must now head to the Dalg continent. Okay. Okay, we can do that. The Daug Continent? That name sounds familiar. Indeed. And it, uh, I'm sure we can look at the world map. Oh, let me just head through here. Did I get the treasures through here? Probably. Let's just double check, though. Yeah, yeah, I remember heading around that direction last night. Okay, so the question becomes how to get to the Dalg continent. Now we have no airship. Sirona is the most advanced kingdom in the world, especially when it comes to airship technology. So, do you have a, a spare one hanging around? The master cannoneer of this castle even shot down an airship during the civil war we had earlier. Yeah, yeah, we know, bro. It was our airship, god damn you. <laughs> right, okay, got some scholars in here. Oh, here we go, here we go. We are the Saronian engineers, the greatest minds in all the world. We've been expecting you. We've unearthed and restored a flying ship from the ancient ruins. It's called the Nautilus, and it's yours to take. Thank you. Let's go, guys. Yeah, look, we did save the kingdom. Huh? What? Hey, wait for me. <laughs> Hurry up, dude. <laughs> They're going to leave you behind. Chink, chink, chink. It's done. <laughs> we moored the ship outside the castle. Remember, it's called the Nautilus. <laughs> okay, we won't forget. It's fine. It's a fine ship. Its engine should be powerful enough to take you through the wind that protects the Dalg continent. Excellent. That's what we want. You're now a proud owner of the Nautilus. Superb. There we go. Right, we've got our lead now. Take the Nautilus over to the Dalg continent and proceed from there. Oh, okay. There we go. Looks a bit different to the Enterprise, doesn't it? Whoa! Oh my god, it's quite nippy. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Damn, okay. It's not uh it's not slow, is it? Right, uh <laughs> Okay, so that's Duster there. If we want to get Bard and uh Geomancer stuff. And I believe it was uh Replito in this direction, wasn't it? Well, actually, I've got a little bit of money now. Let's uh, let's head back into both and check the shops again because I think we're a little bit poor at the time. Oh, let's just speak, quickly speak to Mog see if there's any new letters coming. No, okay. Right, okay, so it's a bit of an expense, but we've got the gill. Here we go, we can get the f level 1 to 5 summons, presumably for the evoker. Um, I'm probably not going to test them out just yet, but let's get them... Uh, Get them ready for when we do when I'll do at some point. I'll probably try it out during the week and then uh, maybe show you when we continue on Tuesday. Oh, 
God, it's so s swift. Okay, I guess I don't need any of that armor. Now, I could buy spares for other jobs, but let's not assume anything. Okay, so I've got all these extra harps. Um, now, we've got the Medora harp. It's a shame you can't have, like, a harp in each hand. I guess that doesn't make sense, does it? <laughs> um, now, a harp that inflicts confusion or sleep, that's not too useful, really, is it? in practical terms. Uh, the Loki harp, presumably, doesn't say what it does. That's going to give a different buff over the Medora harp. So, I'll buy one. Just to, you know, when I pull the bard back out. Right, what else you got for me? Bards and geomancers. Oh, is that, is that your, your only shop? Okay, fair enough. Because Geomancers don't really need anything, do they? Yes, please, Meta, please. I know, like, <laughs> it's just not technically not a blind playthrough. Because uh, I've played it before, but it's been so long that it might as well be. But, yeah, I'm not against backseat gaming. That's fine, as long as uh, it's not, not, you know, it's not spoilery or anything. Yeah, cool. Yeah, go for it, Matter, if you don't mind, buddy. Save me looking it up. See how useful they are. Because when I used the Medora Harp, it clearly put a buff on everyone, which, you know, just turned them yellow. <laughs> but I was like, okay, but what? Is that... Is the defense gone up? What? What's what's going on? I don't know. <laughs> um, right, so Daug. This should be this continent here. Okay, right. So Medora's Protect, Loki's Haste. Okay. Okay, Larry is damage. Okay, so maybe that's actually pretty good. And Dream is heal. Okay, so Bard's definitely got some flexibility. Um, I mean, I don't think they can actually uh, change their gear during combat, but still. And Polo Harp is shell. Okay, so that's actually pretty useful. It gives oh. Oh, we didn't realise we're getting battles in mid-flight. Okay, that's cool. Um, so it gives Bard a lot of options, definitely. So I think during the week I might work on it a bit. Um, I think for the sake of expedience, we'll just stick with the current party setup. All the time it's working, at least. Right, okay. What is this place? Let's go find out. Oh, okay. That's pretty nice. So you can immediately get your buff up before <laughs> the boss one shot you. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think generally speaking, it's not all, you know, obviously all the jobs perform better the higher their level. But I think in some cases, it's not just their stats, is it? It's, uh, yeah. Okay, so Bard could potentially be a good choice later on. Okay, this is Doga's Manor. Let's go meet Doga. Who dares trespass inside the great wizard Doga's Manor? The Warriors of Light. That's who. Seize them! Kupo! Kupo Po! Alright, okay. Alright, we've got Smoogles we've got to contend with then. <laughs> I'm not too intimidated. There's only two of them as well. Maybe a hundred Moogles might be an issue. Hmm? I know you, don't I? Ah, the Warriors of the Light. Good of you to come. I have something to tell you. 
The one who is summoning the darkness into this world is none other than Zande. Zande, Une, and I were apprentices of the great Magus Noah. When Noah died, he bestowed upon us gifts. The power of magic to me, the world of dream to Une, and to Zande, Noah granted him mortality. Granted him mortality? I mean, if we're speaking philosophically, then I suppose that could be a boon, but, you know, <laughs> if I was the apprentice of some great wizard, and he grants me mortality, suggesting before I was immortal, I'd be like, bro, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> I've got too much stuff to do, now you've made me mortal. Thanks, thanks for that. Oh... Uh, uh... I don't know, I'll, look, I'll check later, Meta. We'll have a little look at that, maybe at the end of the stream. Um, but that would be good, wouldn't it? That would make a bard uh, pretty OP in a good way. So yeah, we'll, I'll look into it. <laughs> right. Of course, Zandi was not pleased. No, he wouldn't be. He wouldn't be. You know, you're one of three. One's got the power of the dream world. One's got ultimate magic. And you... You can, you can die now. <laughs> so, oh, thanks. Thanks, boss. I appreciate that. Anyway. He covered this world in darkness and stopped the flow of time. Zande's plan was to stay his e eventual demise by halting time itself. <sighs> I mean, it's a bit of an extreme thing, but... You don't know the situation, basically. But still, I guess we can't let him get away with it. But then you appeared and restored time to its rightful rhythm. However, Zande seems intent on stopping time again. Makes sense. Come, you must help me stop Zande. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Oh, Doga has joined the party. We've got an immortal ultimate mage with us. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Come, you must escort me to the Cave of the Circle. In my room is a secret passage that leads to the cave. The candle on the wall is a switch that opens the hidden door. Okay. Okay, let's go to the Cave of the Circle. Okay, and this is Mog. No letters for us. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Mel. Give you so many different options. Now, I assume the Protect song would do the same as the level 5 White Magic Protect. But, so if you could use that and then have two others, then you'd basically be sorted, wouldn't you? Alright, all the Moogles living with Doga. It smells like Chocobo. Okay, that's... If you want to call the fat Chocobo. Oh, Hello! Well, I guess it kind of makes sense that the ultimate mage would have some ultimate spells to sell. So, yeah, let's buy some of these. All right, Faraga. Bio. Warp. I guess we'll get the token one of each. Aeroga. Excellent. Uh, Stoner. Wonderful. Haste. Oh, lovely haste. Bonus. Right, we've already got Kyaga and Rays. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can somehow, if you'd have told me to guess, Mike, I would have, I could, yeah, I might imagine that would have been the case. <laughs> yeah. oh, right. No, not Farag, what am I doing? Let's get on the right, right magic user. There we go, right. Haste. Definitely going to be making use of that. Right. Aeroga. And Stoner. That saved me some gold needles, that will. Right, what is this? What is this little Moogle got then? Okay, basic items. 
Which I think, yeah, I've already got plenty of. Don't need any of that. Oh. Okay, some magic water in that jar there. I guess it wasn't the skull <laughs> that did that. <laughs> um, yeah, what a cool study. All the books lined up, um, piled up. Um, yeah, I, I like Doga. I like characters like that. You know, ultimate mystic wizards who live forever and just accumulate knowledge. As long as they're good guys. I'm definitely into that character archetype. Right. Cave of the Circle. Oh, we've got to turn mini, have we? This hole leads to the Cave of the Circle. As you can see, you must be very small to enter. Okay. It's not a problem. There we go. Can we... I guess we can't unmini now, can we? Should be fine. Oh right, Minotaurs. They could be a problem. As for so little. Um In fact, can we unmini ourselves? No. Okay, this might be an issue, but let's uh Give them a go. Oh, okay, the Bovians. They're not Minotaurs. Okay, so maybe they're not as strong as the ones we'd seen previously. They just immediately annihilated us. Let's give them a go. Oh, there we go. So magic is getting the job done. Right. <laughs> Melee, not so much. <laughs> uh... There we go, just get Ark to just use his Ice Rod on them. That'll get the job done. I assume we definitely can't unmini, can we? No. Let's try and get through as quickly as possible. No, 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 no. Back up there. Yeah, I'll just put everyone on guard, I guess. That's interesting, you can still level up your job even if you just do a guard action. That's quite cool. <coughs> we must hurry. My time has almost come. Your time? What's going on, Doga? I will cast a spell on your ship so that it may travel underwater. Whoa, okay. He's turning the ship into submarine. <laughs> oh, he's called the Nautilus, so I mean... Okay, I missed his uh, incantation there, but I wasn't sure if I could uh, <laughs> get the pronunciation correct anyway. I'm sure I could have worked it out, but I didn't get a chance, so never mind. Right, the Nautilus can now travel underwater. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Doga. Head south from Saronia. The Temple of Time lies bet between the pillars of Cape Twinhorn. In the temple is where you will find Noah's Flute. Loot, not flute. What does Noah's loot do? Loot, sorry, not flute. <laughs> it is a magic loot whose 
T timbre. Timbre? <laughs> they know musical touch. Timbre <gasps> will reach even into the world of dream. You must use it to call Une back from the world of dream. I will now use the circle to enter the rift between dimensions and find the key to Eureka. What's Eureka? <laughs> Your task is to wake Une and obtain the ancient ship known as the Invincible. Another ship? We gotta find another ship, okay? <laughs> We got all the ships. You must hurry now. I will teleport you outside. Give my regards to Une. Farewell, warriors of the light. We will meet again. Okay. Okay, don't right. Okay. <laughs> it's all happening. Okay, so we can now uh, travel under the sea. That's handy. Right, okay, and it looks like Cape Twinhorn is the very th southern tip of the uh, northeastern Saronian continent, by the looks of it. However, I guess there's going to be other things under the ocean. One thing I can definitely see. Oh, it is Timbray. All right, excellent. Oh, sorry, tambourine without the een. So, ta tamba. Ta tambor? Ta oh, okay. <laughs> I'm glad you know metal. <laughs> I appreciate uh, the non judgment as well. Okay, so. Oh, okay. Now, it looked like to me, I should be able to get into that little cave there. There we go. It's from this side. Oh, underwater battles. Alright, Kagura. Okay. Little seahorse things. Let's murder them. Oh, excellent. <laughs> that's, that's cool, Meta. That's not something that really exists in the UK. It's terrible, terrible oversight. Because obviously after school activities and clubs and uh, sports teams and all sorts of things, it's like just a part of high school in America, isn't it? And, you know, you get sports scholarships and all sorts of things. We don't get any of that over here. You literally get nothing. You know. <laughs> it's a shame, really. A lot of wasted potential over here, but never mind. Right, some random fishers. Let's murder them. Good job we can fight underwater, isn't it? Yeah, you just ha you basically have uh, your classes, you know, which you like, you know, not nine a.m. to like three or four p.m. Um, now, I'm trying to think, what kind of? I mean. <laughs> There may have been like a few random clubs and things, but it was like there's no like real benefit to any of it, essentially. Um, so the whole idea of like, you know, an actual club or sports team or whatever, which is quite, you know, is is a basic standard thing that's in most uh, American high schools. You don't get any of that at all. It's just. It just doesn't exist yet. <laughs> so no wonder so many people, like, you know... I wish we had that kind of thing when I went to school, but... Literally, you go to school, do your classes, you go home, and that's it. You know, if you want to do any extracurricular activities, you have to do it outside of school and go and find something else to do. Which is a shame, but... Hey, all right there, young Julie. Don't apologise for being late. I'm glad you're here. Um, you know, you've got no obligation to be here, so we're glad to have you. And I hope you're doing well. I hope you're not, uh, <laughs> you're not uh, trying to do your washing without putting the washing in. <laughs> so here's a funny story, guys. Julie, the other day, she uh, went to do her washing in the washing machine, like you do. 
she turned it on, uh, went to do some other things, and then like later on realised that she hadn't actually put her clothes in the washing machine. <laughs> now, if you know any of you, if you knew Julie like I do, you know that's pretty. Uh... <laughs> I went to the typical, but also kind of not surprised when I heard she did that. So. <laughs> So I hope you're well, Julie. Hope you've had a good day. Um, yeah, hope, just hope you're well. Hope you're enjoying life. You know, enjoying the lockdown. Anyway, we've made it. With this is seemingly Doga's village. So is this where Doga lived when he, before he was Noah's apprentice? I'm not really sure. Anyway, let's find out. This is Doga's village. All the spells sold here are, are ancient, recovered and restored by Master Doga himself. Excellent. Oh. Okay. Super powerful ancient spells that we already bought in a normal shop. Completely unrelated to Doga. That's useful. Oh, I, okay. Okay, they just sell all the spells. I see. So we've got all those. Have, we got, have you got anything I don't have? That's the question. Okay, that's good level 5 spells there. Already got them. Oh, hello. Level 7 spells. Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Look at the expense. Ah, okay. Um, Sound excellent. So, level 7 black man. Uh, quake. Earth damage. Uh, break gar. Uh... Petrification, everyone, not so great. Drain. Now, I'm sure you guys all know how I feel about Drain spell from uh, our Final Fantasy 2 playthrough. Big fan of them. Um, maybe we'll think about that. Uh, Curaja. The best healing spell. So, going to want that, definitely. Asuna. Eh, we definitely want that. Uh, reflect. A magic reflecting barrier. Mm, maybe not so useful. I'm not sure. We'll think about it for a minute. Right, and here's the level 4 spells. We've already got all of those. Oh, right, there we go. Back to the beginning. Let's have a look in the middle. Oh, it's Mog. Okay, a new letter from Sid. Let's see what Sid has to say. When you were babies, you four sure were a handful when you were toddlers. Y'all turned out okay in the end. Oh, at the very least, you're all toilet trained. <laughs> yeah. Are you getting other people's letters, Kupo? Oh, I don't know. Is he suggesting that maybe I've skipped over some uh, NPCs that should be sending us letters? I'm not sure. Never mind. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Oh, level six magics. I think we just bought all these, didn't we? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's just these level 7 spells. Oh, bless you, Meta. That's right. You Well, go and enjoy your time at the grocery store. Hopefully, it's not too painful. But, you know, if you're getting some tasty foods, then I'm sure that, you know, the excitement of that is kind of good, I feel. So, uh, enjoy yourself. And hope, hopefully, we'll see you later, Meta. But uh, if not, until then. Lots of deliveries, Julie. You mean things turning up at your house that are good and awesome? Yeah, electricians turn up two, two hours late. Of course they did. They don't want to turn up early, are they? You don't want to turn up on time. Two hours late. Did they apologise? No, of course they didn't. Uh, and yeah, dealing with your mum. Now, if anyone ever had a cross to bear. <laughs> bless you. I, I'm sure you're going to... Uh, reap your just reward in the next life for that so i do hope so julie um the stream was fine mike it's a shame you weren't here but um yeah and jess well you'd have to ask jess yourself but i imagine she was like thank god mike isn't here because you know there's only so much people can put up with you mike <laughs> so yeah uh only playing glad to have you here right so 
don't want to rinse my money. So we can buy two of these spells now. I think we'll go for Curaja and Asuna. Because obviously Art can equip those straight away. And we'll pick up the others later. Now he's only got one cast of either. Because of his level. But that's fine. We'll, we'll get more as we level him up. There we go. Okay, so there's basically nothing here at Doga's village. Apart from all the magics. Alright, the tree's not going to do anything. No. Nah. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I assume it's not actually uh, Julie's responsibility to pay the electricians. I assume it's uh, a landlord's ability. Uh, ability? Responsibility. Now, is it worth just trawling around the, the seabed looking for things? I mean, maybe... Maybe not. Oh, one second. Let me just have a look in this direction a second. Okay, yeah, we'd already seen that island, hadn't we? Um, so there might be some interesting things. What I might do in my uh, random levelling up during the week, I might just trawl around the ocean bed looking for things. And then if I find anything interesting, I'll save it. To uh, you know, show you guys uh, next week. For now, let's press on with the quest. All right, we're heading towards the Temple of Time. Apparently, it should be in here. Apparently, there we go. Temple of Time. Let's save it. Crocs ankle boots? Aren't Crocs those like kind of weird like rubber like s slipper slip like sandal things? They do boots as well. Weird. Um, but look, if you like them. Now posh hot chocolate. Okay, I guess that's good. I'm not I'm not really into hot chocolate, honestly. Now actual chocolate, yes, yeah, sign me up. But hot chocolate, I don't know, I'm not really uh not into it, but yeah. Okay, so they did apologise, but it, you know, it would have been nice if they'd let you know, wouldn't it? Okay. The Temple of Time. Let's get to it. So we're looking for something here that's going to wake up Une, apparently. Let's see how tough the enemies are. Ooh, Chimeras. Chimera Mages. Okay. Okay, not too tough. Yeah, we could smash through these. Nice gill and XP, though. Very nice. And dropped a gold needle, of all things. Okay. Gosh, it's a bit open in here, isn't it? Right, okay. <laughs> I've got a vibe like this is where we're supposed to go. So maybe I should uh, head back for a second. What's this? Deera. Well, it's only one. Some kind of harpy looking creature. See how tough it is? Yeah, pretty tough, but not tough enough. Not when you've got uh, a skilled dragoon stabbing the... Uh, Shizzle out of it. 
Okay, that's clearly the way to go. So let's uh, <laughs> head back and check that door. Okay, there's nothing in that water. I don't know why I'm heading that way. Know how it is. Got to get the treasures. Okay, door is locked. Okay, thank God we got uh, all these magic keys. I don't remember exactly where we bought them from, but that's fine. Diamond braces. Sounds very, sounds good. Who can use diamond braces? Okay, uh, Ark can. Or can everyone use them? No, no, they're just for uh, just for majors. Okay, so. Yeah, I think Ark probably needs them slightly more. Well, I say that. His defense is slightly less, but... I suppose Rafi is on the front line, so... Oh, what's this? Wyvern. Come on, Wyvern. Ah, yeah, they're not so tough. All right, Croc Wellies. All right, so they're like a proper brand now. Well, not that they weren't before, but they've, they've diversified their range of uh, footwears. And you're a big fan. That's good. Your chunky calves. <laughs> that just means you walk a lot. You know, you, you, want, you want to get chunky calves, don't you? So, you know, if you ever need to kick a door down or something, you're good to go. I mean, look, if it's chunky as in it's fat... And that's not good, but people don't really get fat calves. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's just muscle, really, isn't it? So, that's good. I'm trying to get my calves bigger, do you know what I mean? <laughs> that's why I do squats every day. Does she? All right. Well, that's when you probably know what my mum gets up to more than I do, Julie. So. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Okay. That lightning does sting a lot, but it's nothing we need to worry about. Oh, right, I didn't realise it was that bad, Julie. I, I I thought you got away fairly unscathed. Really? <laughs> I I don't obviously don't pay attention to these things, do I? Surprise, surprise. Well, still, it's not good having a hole in your chin and getting nerve damage. That's not good. Okay, the Wyvern hits quite hard. Just not very tough. Oh, what do we have here? A diamond helm. Excellent. Who can make use of the, the diamond helm? Okay, Ingus gets a bit of uh, use out of it. But that's it. He's the only one who can use it. Cool, that's fine. A little extra defense. Never hurt anyone. 
Never know, might save your life. Oof! God damn! Hits hard. Right, ever onward. Ooh, treasures. Defender. Now, in the previous two Final Fantasy games, Defender is a sword. And it is in this game. Oh, 95 attack, cast protect. Oh, my good God. Jesus, that's pretty amazing. So let's... Uh... There we go. So I'm li my OCD says... I need to uh, have the main weapon in the right hand. I don't think it makes any difference whatsoever. Now, Raytheon, can you make use of the Royal Sword? Yes, you can. We will give you that Poison Dagger back. Excellent. Yeah, we're doing well. Get some nicer new equips. Okay. Head down into the water, just the north there. I do like the look of the blood sword. It looks cool. That lightning though. And it's amazing. So I guess it takes into his, his total attack into account. Which is uh, slightly handy. More lovely treasure. Do diamond mail now we're going for. Ah. Yeah, there's no. That's a shame. Ingus, though. Excellent. It does seem like Dragoon can equip some good items. Shame that Dark Knight can't follow suit. Uh, right or left? So I guess we'll try right first. Glad I bought this many magic keys. Obviously needed them. Alright, where are we going? Hmm, very curious. Murderation. I'm loving the amount of XP I'm getting from them, though. Oh, okay, that's the loot there. Okay, let's go finish before... That's going to probably put us in a boss fight or something. So let's finish exploring the rest of the dungeon. Got to get those treasures. We've got here a diamond shield. Ugh. Shame I don't use shields, isn't it? Oof. Oh, wait. Is this not the Wiffen? Okay. 
my god, it's not, is it? It's uh, a dragon. Well, obviously, we can see that, but... <laughs> Thought it was the Wyvern then for a second, just because they look quite similar. My god, he's tough. Oh, damn, flames. Okay, I'm going to need to actually start playing properly now. Oh, damn. Hmm. Hopefully he's not too got too many more hit points. Oh god. That was a bit careless, wasn't it? Oh there we go. He's dead. <laughs> Nine thousand gil and a massive chunk of XP. That's uh Wasn't expecting that. Okay, i if it happens again, at least we'll know. Craziness. Right. Let's get everyone uh, back up and fighting fit. Right. Yeah. Chuck weak enemies at you until they don't. <laughs> so, Julie, does anything of this look familiar to you? Not that it necessarily should, because... Uh, I, this doesn't look familiar to me, and obviously I played the whole game through where you didn't. But you, then again, you may have looked at it sooner than I have. Oh, messed that up, didn't I? That's, that's what you get for using auto battle, kids. Hey, you alright, Meta? He can't stay away. <laughs> Even when he's doing his grocery shopping, he wants to hang out with us. God bless him. Cool. Job levels ever increasing. There we go. I should have clearly gone this way first, shouldn't I? Ooh, double treasure. Diamond gloves. Superb, that sounds good. Behemoth knife? Oh! Oh! Okay. So, Red Mage cannot equip the Behemoth knife. I guess that's a... A thief-specific knife. Not sure. Anyway, Diamond Gloves. Who's going to get the most benefit out of those? Yeah, Luneth needs it. Why is his defense so low? His defense is terrible. I wonder if he's taking so much damage. Well, yeah, the graphics are basically the uh, same, Julie. It's just maybe it looks a little better. Just because it's running on my PC rather than the DS, but... I mean, a lot of the dungeons do kind of look similar. Obviously, I'm unaware of how far you got through the game. Right, here we go. Now, I'm just going to do a little quick save, just in case we fight a boss and it ganks us, basically. <laughs> um... You know, that just to save us a little bit of time. There we go. Noah's Loot. The legendary loot sealed away within time begins to sound a quiet song that reaches deep within your heart. Wonderful. 
quite a lively song. Rock on. Obtained Noah's loot. Let's hold it up for everyone to see. There we go. Oh, okay. No boss fight. Um, fair enough. Well, that's quite straightforward. Dungeon. Wasn't really too much to it. We got some nice uh, new armors and things, though. So. Right, so let's go wake up Une. Which was... She was in that cave, or was it the other cave? Oh, I believe it was this cave, wasn't it? Yeah, here we go. Noah's lute begins to play. It's timbre. Oh, oh, sorry, I missed that. I was <laughs> agonising over that word again. <laughs> Never mind. It, we played the lute's played its song. Woke up Une. Hmm. Oh. You did it! You did it! Une is awake! Excellent. Oh my, did I sleep well. Parrot, on my shoulder now! Hey, ma'am! <laughs> <laughs> Weird, okay. Hum, I need to work out these sore limbs. hey <laughs> What? <laughs> Alright, she's doing laps. Having a little exercise. Une, guardian of the dream world at your service. Ho, ho, ho. The world of dream was a good place. But I guess I'd forgotten how exciting the real world could be. And as for you, Doga had told me about you in my dreams. We have to go get the Invincible, don't we? That ship will take you across the highest mountains. Okay. So, we forget the next ship upgrade. We can actually travel across mountains. Wonderful. That's what we like to hear. It's in the ancient ruins to the north. So, what are we waiting for, eh? Let's go. What? Wait a second. What is it, young man? Embarrassed to be seen walking around with an old crone like me? <laughs> no, no ma'am, not at all. Then stop staring and get moving. <laughs> Alright, cool. Une's joined the party. So back to the ancient ruins. So presumably she's going to be able to move the adamantite out of the way. Oops. Before I forget, here, take this. Okay, obtained fang of fire. What's the fang of fire? Hey, where'd you get? You must not lose this fang, as well as the two fangs that you already hold. They are the only things that will enable you to get past the four statues that Zande created to guard the entrance to his tower. There's one last fang, the Fang of Earth. To get it, though, you fir you'll first need to find the Invincible. Come on, let's hurry. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we've already seen those statues. That explains why we got past two of them. And the third one killed us automatically. Now, based on that, we should be able to get past the third one. I suppose we we don't need to uh, do that now. But at least we've got, we know where we're on track to go. Oh. Can't land there. There we go. Let's do a little save. Well, I'm going to take a, a 60 second break, guys, just to, uh, you know, empty out, you know, when you got to go. <laughs> so I'll be right back. You bear with me.
Right, sorry about that, guys. I am back. Well, you know how it is. Maybe I should just get a bucket and uh, <laughs> put it onto my desk here. <laughs> right. <sighs> there we go. Get my good posture back. Right. Right, let's get in, in the uh, ancient ruins. Right, do your thing, Une. Adult nappy. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Maybe not, Julie. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm not quite at that stage yet. Right, got Pyralis. Okay. That's fine. We'll kill you. Oh, pretty tough. And hitting hard as well. Not, yeah. You know, two rounds to kill it. That's fine. Oh, there we go. Level up. Oh, I don't think it was that long since we had a last level up, but not complaining. Now, if this is another dungeon, I might need to head back to uh, Seronia and rest at an inn. But for now, we we'll think we'll just press on. If I'd feel the need to, we have to, uh, back, you know, head out, that's not a problem, we'll do that. Let me handle this. Striking dream world stones against any material from this world, even adamantite, should annihilate both objects. Okay, curious. <laughs> Stand back. Here we go. Oh, it's... Wow, okay. Nice one, Une. Hmm. That was taxing. I sometimes forget my age. <laughs> Come on, don't just stand there. The invincible awaits. Onwards. Indeed. Indeed, Une. Right, yes, Rael's. I'll handle this. All right, you know he's jumping and casting haste on us. Cool, thanks. <laughs> there we go. Reflect mail. Hello, what is this? Nothing that Luneth can bloody well use. Of course. Ah, Rafia can, though. Protect. Right, lot of defense protects against some status ailments. Excellent. Well, very nice. Pleased about that. Some of these walls look a little bit suspicious to me. Okay, got well, some scholars here. Some merchants pilfer weapons and armour from ruins like these and sell them openly. I mean, if no one owns them. I got the feeling that something really important is in these ruins. 
Every drawing and painting we've recovered has a giant flying ship as its central theme. Okay. Right, okay. So we've got three uh, doors there, and we've got one back down here. Let's go check this one first. Doors. Stairs. Entrance. You know what I'm saying. All, right, all the ways to go. All right, these scums. Oof. Oh yeah, don't want Rafe for your dying loss, do we? Do love the battle music in this game. I think I've said that about every Final Fantasy we've played so far, and I expect I'm going to say it about every Final Fantasy we're going to play. There we go. Now, those eaters definitely uh, hit hard, but re definitely re reaping the rewards from it, though. Dropping high potions as well, that's nice. Yeah, magic's looking a bit thin on the ground at the moment, to be honest. We can keep going for a moment, though. Lovely treasure. A rune bell. Right, I believe the bell is the Geomancer's weapon. So, we're not going to need that for a little bit. What we've got here? Fairy claw. Oh, God, bloody claws. Use most useless weapon in the game. I've got a feeling like this is the way we're supposed to go. Excellent. Easy prey. I suppose we might as well carry on looking as we've gone this way. Yeah, I mean, look, this is clearly the... Yeah, that's definitely the way to go. So let's go and <laughs> do everything else first. Ah, Chakra Band. Okay, that's... We've already got a couple of those. Nothing too exciting. Cool. They're quite nice enemies to fight, actually. You know, the effort to uh, reward ratio is pretty good. All right, yeah, Ark's uh, magic points are starting to uh, get a little bit thin on the ground at the moment. Ah, Black Belt Gi. Okay, yeah, we've already got a few of those. I think it's, yeah, I think it's the Black Belt Gi. But still, got an extra one. Right, okay, let's head back up to where those scholars were. 
those uh, archaeologist types. Check those three rooms up there that we saw. Oh, holy! Okay. Oh! Unai? My god! Oof. Can you finish it, Ingus? Not quite. Bless him. Yeah, drop another holy on a moon, eh? <laughs> Keep going, don't they? The tide had turned, though, I'm afraid. My, my eatery friends. Oof. Yeah, excellent, excellent uh, gill and XP from them. Oh, hello. All right, they're actually hanging out here. Oh, it's a shop. Okay, cool. Oh, 200 guild to rest. Yes, we will. We'll do that, but in a second. I just want to check the other rooms first. What you got, buddy? Oh, another defender. And God, it's a bl blood lance. Oh, my Jesus Christ. I want both of those. Look at the cost, though. Okay, well, I think I'll buy the Bloodlands for Ingus, as it does the same as the Blood Sword. Now, the, the extra Defender would have to wait. Now, really, I would like two of those Bloodlancers, but... I can't... <laughs> I could afford it, but... Never mind. Excellent, he's going to be doing crazy damage now, Ingus, and uh, healing himself while he's at it. Not upset about that. Okay, let's have a look in here. What you got, buddy? Okay. Oh! Black and white robes and diamond mail and diamond braces and gloves. Oh, my God. Uh, not enough money. I've not got enough money. I definitely want one white robe there at least for Ark let's just do it right rinse the money got a few good things I can always come back to this dungeon and buy these these items later honestly there we go very nice right let's go rest that should see us through the rest of the dungeon Sandy got beds in the, in the middle of a dungeon, Russ. <laughs> Let's explore these ancient ruins. Don't forget your bed. <laughs> ah, I stepped like a log. You always do, Luneth. I'm jealous. He's, you know, he's a good sleeper. Right, back on the trail. Yeah, it was up, wasn't it? Oh, Ingus. Honestly, at this point, I can say that I kind of feel like... Um, Dragoon is better than Dark Knight, I feel. Never mind, we'll keep going with Dark Knight for now. We've still got some more jobs to unlock at some point before we've got everything, I think. 
someone can make a bit more of an informed decision about what where to take the party from that point. For now, let's just carry on. Ever onward. At least it's fairly linear. I'm not getting lost or anything. Oh, are we here? It's the invincible. Whoa, hello. This looks pretty, uh, swish. Now listen up! The stairs over there are the way to, out to the surface. When you want to board the Invincible again, stand in its shadow and press A. You'll see a exclamation mark when you get near any mountains. Press A to rev up the engines and propellers over the hills. Okay? Press B to stop the ship and take a break. You can steer the ship again by standing at the helm and press A. Did you take that all in? I think so. <laughs> Good, now follow me. Right, okay, we've got a weapons and magic shop. Put gill in these thingies here. <laughs> thingies. <laughs> and you can buy items, weapons and even armour. I've also summoned Fat Chocobo in the corner further aft. Where are you? Come on out, you chubby chicken! <laughs> Fat Chocobo appears, alright. You can rest up in the beds over there too. Right, so basically it's an all-in-one transport with shops and resting and storage and everything. Excellent. Doga's calling me. I have to go. You're going already? Yes, I trust you to do the rest yourselves. Remember, go to the Cave of Shadows no north of Amur and recover the Fang of Earth. Right, north of Amur, Cave of Shadows. Come to Doga's Manor once you get it. Doga and I must give you something before you continue on your journey. Good luck with the Fang of Earth. I'll see you in Doga's Manor. Ta-ta! <laughs> Oh, she just <laughs> teleports out. Une has left the party. Okay, okay, cool. How exciting. Right, let's see what's for sale. Okay, basic. I say basic level. <laughs> level 7 magics. Not basic, but there we go. What else have we got? All the arrows. Dark knife, rune axe, and a dra dragon lance. Oh, my God. So there's plenty of things to uh, work towards buying, that's for sure. Right, armor. Right, diamond shield, braces, gloves. Right, the white robe and Gaia vest, the black robe. Okay. <coughs> Finally, items. All the basic items. Don't really need any of it. Right, all sorts. Right, uh, I probably what I should do is try and sell some old gear that I don't need. Yeah, now in terms of swords, I've already got a few decent swords. I'm not going to need these anymore, I don't think. So let's get rid of them. I uh, will hang on to one of each of these. Don't need uh, all of them though. I guess we'll hang on to the arrows for now. Hang on to the books and the tomes, just in case we need them. Hammers... An axe, I guess we're hanging on to those. Thunder spear. I guess we can sell two of those. Three leather caps, I don't know that we need those. Or the mythical helm. 
Or, in fact, the Shell Helm. I can always, uh... Black Cow. Okay, that sounds cool. Um... I, don't, I certainly don't need five Dragon Helms, do I? <laughs> Uh, what else? We got rusty mail. Definitely don't need that. Three black belt geese. All right, I'll sell all the uh, Kempo geese. I don't want to sell everything just in case it turns out I do need it. Right. Uh. Main gauche, we can get rid of that, I think. Right, fairy claws can go. Right, rune bell, 98. So how's that compared to the... Uh, what's that earthen bell? I guess I'll hang on to both for the time being. Right, do a little sort there. It says Fat Chocobo, if we uh, need anything from him. Or need to store anything with, with him. We haven't yet. It's hard to see uh, the benefit of it. Okay. Oh, we've got two Moogles here. Got any letters? No. Oh, okay, and this is Moogle's record keeper. All right, Bestiary. And how many you've defeated of each. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, so... Oh God, there's quite a lot, isn't there? Oh God, what number does it go to? Two hundred and twenty-six. Monsters collected, forty-six percent. Oh my God, uh, and achievements. Uh, Alright, 53% of chests have opened. Master cards, what is that? I don't know. Um, obviously not really wor worried about achievements in this game, so it's not really an issue. So we go down this stair to get out, I guess. And which we don't need to do, so let's take off. Here we go. Invincible. There we go. So I guess the Invincible can do everything. Can't seem to land in the ocean now, though. Guess that's not really a problem, though. Right, so... Uh I think a mer was this uh, settlement over here, wasn't it? Now, I will say it's a lot slower than Nautilus, but I guess I can't really be helped. There we go. Yeah, here we go. Um, I don't think there's actually anything here we need, is there? So, if we're heading north, across the mountains, so, how, how do we get across the mountains then? I'm sure she said to press A to, like, zoom up, you know, but unless there's only certain places we can do it. Oh, in fact, I think that might be the case. I like this music. This is pretty cool. Ah, this looks promising. Okay, so it's just these small little mountains here. It's 
small little mountains. <laughs> you know what I mean. Do we really have to go do this? Go over every single one? Could they not have just ha had one barrier? And then we could like... You know, just fly, easily fly the rest of the way. <sighs> Seemingly not. Slightly annoying, but it's not worth uh, crying over. Oh my god, finally. There we go. Right, let's do a little save. Cave of Shadows. Okay, this doesn't look slightly ominous. Oh, I've got a random Dark Knight here. Hello. I have come here from Falgabard for further training. Some monsters in this cave divide and multiply when attacked by normal means. Okay, that's that's good. More XP, isn't it? Uh, let's see how tough they are. Oh, look at these monstrosities. We've got Haniel and Veilfor. Okay. That's fine. We'll attack you. See how tough they are. Oof, hitting hard. Oh, dear me. Um, but just in... In combat heals, really. Don't want anyone dropping dead on me. Oh, my God. Oh, of course, Ingus has got his uh, blood glands, hasn't he? So, uh... Definitely to his advantage there. So these Veil Fours obviously divide him when they get attacked, but that's not going to stop me attacking them, is it? Or trying to be clever about it. Let's just brute force our way through. That's my that's my style. That's what that's the Isnib style. <laughs> just fudge your way through it. The chest contains a black musk. What is black musk? Instant KO item. If you say so. I mean... We're not going to be able to use that on the boss, are we? So... You know. Not sure how important it is. Nice dungeon music. Dark Claws. No, go away, Dark Claws. Not interested. It seems my Dark Blade was too weak. But it may have been my destiny to be here and meet you. Take this with you if you wish to venture forth. Kotetsu? What's Kotetsu? Oh god, he died. Oh, Jesus. Well, thank you anyway, buddy. I mean, it sounds like it might be a weapon or a sword. Oh, there you go. Effect against dividing enemies. Excellent. Okay. I've got to go for that. Now, shame that Luneth is going to lose the use of the blood sword, but he's going to get more attack for doing so. 
then again, <sighs> free heals or more attack, what's more important? I'll stick with the blood sword for now. I'm not going to sell that defender though. Lilith's Kiss. Not a very useful uh, disposable item. Oh, how do we get there? What are these? Fasago and a Hellish Horse. Okay. Bring it. Actually, hang on. Let me make sure they're all doing the right attack. Might help. There we go. got six legs that horse it's kind of disturbing oh, have I missed a secret door secret passageway let's uh let's go check oof Sargo. You don't need to hit so hard, buddy. Yeah, I think the fact that he can like heal himself for, like three, four hundred hit points on a hit is probably more useful. Oh my god. There we go. It's slightly annoying with their dividing there, but it's all extra XP, so it's hardly the end of the world. There we go. Not leaving the treasures behind. Tranquilizer. Even if they're trash treasures. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. What a waste of a cure. Poor Raphia, look at her. <laughs> Face down on the floor, just absolute corpse. So much for the sword stopping them divide. What the actual?
Oh, I was crying out loud. They'd definitely be hitting hard round here. Again, Raphael just lying on the floor, just... Bless you, hun. You're going to get left behind if you keep dying like that. Maybe I should have her as a bard on the back row or something. I don't know. I think we're just getting unlucky that she's being targeted. You know, you're not supposed to pick on girls. You know, well, you're not supposed to pick on anyone, but... They are definitely pretty tough. There's no denying that. <sighs> what? How much damage did that do? Jesus Christ. Oh, right. That's, yet again, she's lying down on the floor. Bless her. See, the, the boys have overtaken now, Raphael. <laughs> I'm going to be running out of razors soon. <laughs> I understand why there's so many b bones scattered around this place then. It does make sense. Oh, what we got here? A Garp and a Selenus. I don't know where they come up with the names. I don't think anyone knows. There we go. Let's hope these ones don't divide. Of course they do. <laughs> I wonder if this is where you got, like, murdered, Julie. Because I can definitely see people having a tough time with this dungeon. What is the point of that? Weird. Oh, look at that. Seriously, just one shotted. She was on full hit points, just gets one shotted. Beautiful. I don't know, all I can say is, if you had d died horribly in this dungeon, this is the first point I can kind of totally understand that you might have done. Let's just put it that way. It's a very tricky mechanic when enemies duplicate. And, uh... You know, and they hit really, really rather hard. Do, 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 do. 
Doo-doo. Oh, great. We're wandering around in the, in the pitch black now. Okay, I'll see. It's like that. Oof. I wasn't actually it wasn't too bad. Looked a lot worse than it was. Oh, she's going to be behind the lads now forever. That's not good. More importantly, treasure! Genji gloves. Mm, Genji gloves, that sounds good. Very good. Who, who, who needs them the most, though? Okay. It's only Luneth that can equip them. That's fair enough. That's clearly the way we want to go, so let's uh, head back up into this darkness. I think I'm starting to get a bit of a handle on them now. Okay, so there's nothing over that way. Yeah, when they're hitting with those crits, it's pretty ridiculous, honestly. Oh, back attack. That's not good. In fact, yeah, he needs to heal himself anyway, so <laughs> doesn't really matter. What's the point in having a sword that says it stops the enemies dividing when in fact it doesn't? I don't know.
Okay, and that just loops around there to waste your time. Okay. That's fine. Damn. Ark. Completely nullifying the fire oh, cast on him. Very nice. Right, back to where we were. I always have a habit of that, of going the the right way, the, the wrong way. The right way first, but which obviously is not where I want to go. I want to hunt around for the traces first. There we go. Nice. Very nice. Oof. Doing everything they can to murder Luneth there. Putting out some pretty sweet damage, though. Let's be honest. God, double divide, Jesus. Right, finally Raytheon gets her level. Bless her. Where are we going? No one knows. Oh, for crying out loud. Got no more razors. That's not good. What are we doing for Phoenix Downs? Not great either. Might have to bail and uh, rest up. But that means we've just got to walk through all this crap again. Right, we don't have any ether, do we? No, I've mean, got a couple of elixirs, but I'd really rather not use those if I don't have to. Yeah, least favourite dungeon so far.
Oh, sorry to have a little stretch. Yeah, my magic is basically all but dried up. Um, push along for a second, chat. So I don't know if I missed something back there, going through all that mess. I'm sort of going around in circles here. Boys and girls, what are we doing? Okay, that's not useful. No wonder so those, those dark nights at the beginning of the dungeon are having a hard time. Oh! For pity's sake. Yeah, I might um, head out in a minute, I think. So even I feel like maybe I'm close to the boss, but I'm no longer in any kind of condition to fight the boss, so... Off. Oh, All right, Luneth's turn face down in dirt. Yeah, let's uh, rest up and do another run in today. Also, see if we can buy some Phoenix Downs. I didn't notice that they were selling them. No, they're really not. Okay. Let's go to bed for a minute. Ah. What a lovely rest. Oh, you slept like a log as well, Ark. That's nice. Shame Luneth was just a corpse, so we better get him arrested, hasn't we? Okay, all coming along, levering up, aren't they? And their job's doing. Yeah, coming along pretty well, actually. I think we'll try and stick with this party for the rest of uh, the playthrough today. Like I say, by the time we get round to it, back on it, Nick, on Tuesday. I might have uh, changed a few things around and I'll just let you know how that's gone as it goes on. <laughs> but yeah, I think we'll try and stick with this party build for the rest of today. Thank you. 
Yeah, loving the XP. So I definitely know where I'm going to be doing my training during the week. Well, let's see where else we end up first. Come on, you scum. Bring it. At least the uh, the copies seem to be a lot weaker than the originals. Uh, something. E level up for Ark. Level up for Ingus. Right, so Luneth won't be far behind. And then uh hopefully uh young Graphia won't be far too much further behind than them. I don't know what Ark's got going on, but he seems to be immune to like s certain elemental spells. Because maybe his uh, magic defense is just that high. Not really sure. Obviously, you know, white mage in the back row is going to have a high magic defense. Alright, yeah, already it's that much easier, just having got a couple of levels here. There we go, it's Luness level up. It's oh Raphia. You're so weak. Thank you. 
try to at least keep yourself alive a little bit, maybe. Damn, Luneth is putting out some nice damage now. He's uh, definitely competing. We're starting to compete with Ingus a little bit. Oh, an attack from behind. That's not good. Change our positions first, I think. Oh, Oh my god. <laughs> Just hit so hard. We will get through this dungeon at some point today. Not sure when. <laughs> no, not Gardark. That's no good. Use your Ice Rod. There we go. There we go, that's a nice painless fight. <laughs> I think it was this floor I possibly missed out some treasure, so let's have try and find that before we uh, head onward.
No. Jesus. Oh, there we go. That's right. Hey, there you go. Rafe has got a level. You're getting beat up, buddy. You know what? Maybe I didn't miss anything. I kind of got the vibe that it was a way that I didn't go, but coming through the second time here, I think maybe, um, maybe I hadn't missed anything. Here we go. What's this? Kiku Ichimonji. What is Kiku Ichimonji? Sounds like a samurai or ninja weapon. Maybe it's not a weapon. Oh, there you go. Ah, oh, okay. It's a sword. Effective against dividing enemies. Okay, I mean... Yeah, see, I'm, now I'm inclined to give him uh, both of those. So he's losing his blood sword, but he's getting an extra 50 attack. Luneth, the absolute murdering beast. So I'll just have to make sure to uh, appropriately um, keep him healed. He's going to be out damaging uh, Ingus now. Genji shield? Oh my. Oh. Can't red, red mages use shields? I guess they can't use the Genji shield, possibly. Right, okay. Only the Dark Knight of these... This, you know, of these four jobs can use it. Well, I guess we'll just hang on to it for the time being. Right, where should we start? Let's better start this at the top here. Maybe it just all links up, possibly. Not too sure, we'll soon find out. Oh my god, nearly 9,000 damage. Do, do, do. 
do. Wonder if we can get to the point where we uh, can get some more jobs, and then during the week I'll have a lot more to uh, choose from. Well, that's clearly the way to go. So let's go back and see if there's any treasures we missed. That's annoying. I'll bet you it just links up. There's two tunnels. Watch this. any problem with uh, losing his blood sword but I think the extra damage is worth it overall it's ridiculous it's like basically doubling his damage output Yeah, there we go. Look at that. I was right, wasn't I? Never mind. I'd rather check than not know. Damn, that was uh, careless. Got Ark racking up a heal that's not needed. Okay, now it's needed. I'm not going to be upset to see the back of this dungeon. Let me tell you that. Oh, oh here we go. We've got to be getting close now, haven't we? Okay, some kind of giant spine we're walking along. Do, 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 do. Bloody hell, another level arc and Ingus. Oh my god. Not complaining though. Genji Helm. Okay. Ooh. Just check. I doubt the others can use it. No, okay. Luneth can, that's something. Mm. 
Genji armor. Okay, now we're talking. Oh, very nice. And of, as always, just to confirm. Yeah. So the Genji set. Obviously, very nice set of armor there. So Dark Knight can use it. Red Mage, White Mage, and Dragoon can't. I, you know, I imagine other jobs could. I expect like maybe Warrior could or Knight. They could probably use it. I do want to be doing a little save in a minute. Oh, what the hell is this? Deathclaw. Right, that's uh, sounds a little ominous, doesn't it? Let's shank it. Hey, all right there, Shadow the Hedgehog. How you doing, buddy? Hope you're all right. Final Fantasy fan. Okay, I don't. I've never played the original Final Fantasy three, so I can't really say. But I'm definitely enjoying the uh, look and feel of this game. Um, Final Fantasy four, though, I've not. I've never played that. We will be playing that after Final Fantasy three. We're not going to be playing the Steam version, though. We're going to be playing the uh, PS1 version, so I'm not sure how that compares, but we shall see at some point. Ah, right, yeah. Yeah, or get an imported console. Or, uh, you know, I'm sure there's other ways, but <laughs> probably best not to discuss, best not to discuss those. <laughs> It almost did load then, but it's all right. Finally, the Earth Claw. We found it, the Fang of Earth. Fang, not Claw. My apologies. Who dares break the Eternal Seal? The Warriors of Light. That's who. A dark shadow attacks you. Oh my God! I hope it's not a Hedgehog. Oh, uh, who's this? Who, who is this individual? Right, let's have a little look. Hecaton chair. Hecaton chair. I guess that's from pronunciation. I'm not <laughs> no expert on these things. Right, okay. Now I'm going to play it safe. I'm not going to use Soul Eater. That could get me in a world of trouble. Uh, what spells do I have? Let's throw a protect up. Oh. Can I not protect the whole party? That's a shame. I guess I'll put it up individually. Oh, okay. 100 handed one. Okay, now, of, 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 as you're aware, Shadow, obviously, and uh, I'm somewhat aware, obviously, a lot of the monsters in Final Fantasy are kind of, they do borrow names and also imagery from, you know, myth, various myth, you know, world mythologies. So, uh, thanks for the info there, Shadow, appreciate it. Yeah, I'm not against uh, a bit of Greek mythology. Okay, either way, we have to put him down. Now, he does only seem to have two hands, but that's fine. <laughs> no, yeah, we're going to be playing it very soon, though. So, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I've heard a lot of good things about Final Fantasy IV. Excellent. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate the uh, support there, buddy. Um, right, so... Raphia, what, you, what have you got, hun, that might be of use? Mm, possibly not. I think I'll just use her as a backup heal, healer, I think. Let's get her on the attack for now. He's, God, he's a giant dude, that's for sure. Oh, Luneth, doing some lovely damage there, my friend. All right, Ark can protect himself first. Oh! Oh! That's <laughs> Ooh. kind of a chunky combo he's got going on there. Uh, 
Right. Get yourself back on, up and running, Rafi. I might put on the back row, even. Just try and keep her alive a bit better. Right, uh, he's definitely hitting hard. I'm waiting for him to do like some other ability rather than just his chonky two-hit combo. But if I get everyone uh, protect up on Ingus as well, just keep the uh, the heals flowing. Hopefully, that's going to get the job done. Oh, I've gone to heal Ark first. Maybe I should have gone for Luneth first, but never mind. Not too sure how I feel about the shade of yellow they are when they've got protect. <laughs> That's fine. Oof. Damn. Now, if all he's going to do is that two-hit combo, yes, it is quite damaging, but also, you know, I don't think it's like the end of the world. Um, I'm going to put you on the back row, Raphael. That's what I'm going to do. Now, with between Ark and Raphael, if they just keep, you know, on top of the heels, we should have this in the bank, I, I do hope. Oh, Okay. Luneth just wanted to murder with his swords, didn't he? Got the job done. Excellent, okay. That was, that was not too bad. Right, 8,000 gil. Excellent, definitely need that. And 3,600 3, XP. Wonderful. Couple of job level increases. Very nice. Cool, Fang of Earth. Wonderful. All right, so now we need to head back to uh, Doga's Manor. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I took the words out of your mouth there, Raphael. I do apologise. We have to go back to Doga's Manor. I can't wait to see Une and Doga again. Yeah, I can't wait to get out of this godforsaken dungeon. Let's go. Now, it might be might work for some levelling up later on, but for now, ugh, let's, let's leave. Let's do a little save. Just... Uh, if, in case anything untoward were to happen, I like we, we've basically got a free in now, so there's really no reason not to use it anytime we come back to the uh, the invincible. How are we doing for money? We must have got a lot of guilt in there. Oh god, we did as well. Actually, I don't think there was any useful spells we actually needed here. Well, actually, uh, maybe I'll think. I'll think on those. I'll leave them for now. I don't think. Yeah, actually, was there armor and weapons I wanted? There was probably wasn't there. Right, Again, not desperately few little increases there, but, uh, about weapons. Ah, yeah, of course, that's what I was looking at, the Dragon Lance for uh, Ingus. It's amazing. Yeah, we'll go for that. Quite expensive, 40k. Oh my god, but why not? And then we'll stick the Blood Lance in his other hand. Oh, look, he's, he's, he's almost got as much attack as, uh, Old Luneth now. Wonderful. Right, okay. Doga's Manor. Where was that? 
Let me remind myself. All right, yeah. Island in the south, isn't it? Right, I've got to go over these little mountains again. <laughs> I like the music for the Invincible. That's something. Same as a little bit on the slow side. Oh my god. Almost there. There we go. <laughs> Finally. Well, right, yeah, I believe it was uh, down this way, wasn't it? Alright, how are we doing for time? Alright, we're cool. Still good on time. Still got two hours to go. Excellent. That's what I like to hear or say. <laughs> you know what I mean. Alright, yeah, it's probably spells back there, isn't there? Doga's village. Let's not worry about that right now. Oh! Do I need to swap airships and get the Nautilus back? But what what in what in fact happened to the Nautilus though? That's the question. I can't walk up that way now, surely? I cannot land here. Why can't we land here? How awkward. Unless, we're, unless there's like some little mountains. Oh my god. <laughs> Obviously I've got no context for that mic. But. That. It sounds pretty epic. Some kind of crazy raid type thing you're doing. Alright nice. Um, as long as you're enjoying it. I've got to try it out one day. Just to. <laughs> yeah, so I can understand what you're getting up to, I guess. Probably not anytime soon. Um... Ah. Okay, so we can't get around, so I'm getting. <laughs> So surely, we, if the uh, Invincible can't get through there, then we, surely we need the Nautilus. But what happened to the Nautilus? We left it at the bottom of the sea. Can we not go get go back and get it? I don't. I don't know. Um, only took five minutes. <laughs> I guess your your party was your raid party was just a bit OP there, Mike. Now can't. Use the boost? No, seemingly not. Okay, I don't know. Um, hmm. Maybe if we go to Saronia and say, look, can you speak to the airship engineers and be like, excuse me, can you uh, put a few little... Uh, put your like bonuses on the, uh, on the Invincible, please. I don't know what I don't know. That's unless we head back into that underground uh, cave. Right, oh, that's Une's cave, isn't it? She's presumably not there. She's at Doga's manor with Doga. No, but I mean, obviously, the, what I meant, Mike, is the skill of you, you and your party must have been a bit OP.
Why can't we land here? Let's get on the paving slabs, maybe. Can land there, though, right? There we go. Um, yeah, I don't know if this is correct, but I'm not really sure um, what else we could possibly do. Is this room they were in? Okay, yeah, the genius engineer. Yeah, that's Sid. We know that. Okay. Okay, so they're not offering him anything new. Yeah, so the Nautilus. Yes, we know the sp Nautilus' speed is unmatched. Yes, we need it. We need to... Uh... All I can think is to head back the to where we'd left it. I guess. I don't know that's going to help. Okay, oh, I'm not sure. I mean, that will kind of make sense, I guess, Shadow, if, you know, they're taking other things from, uh, you know, mythology and ancient culture. Possibly. I don't know. I mean, the name Ur sounds, like, somewhat familiar. Um, so it's quite possible, isn't it? They do take borrow names from other things, so... Right, okay, so King Gallus has got nothing more to offer us. Just thought I'd check, just on the off chance. Now, I don't really want to look this up, guys, but... Also, I don't want to, uh... Wander around like a headless chicken for the next two hours. Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense. I do I appreciate that about the Final Fantasy series that they do do that. Now some people would might say, oh no, you should uh come up with everything that's original, but I don't <laughs> Everything's already been done, so I mean <laughs> You know, nothing's truly original. Now I'm just gonna stop here for a minute. In the off chance that Una uh, Unai is uh Sorry, Una is here. No, she's not. That's fine. Okay. Now, I mean... Now, surely, to get back into the underwater cave, though, don't we have to be able to go underwater? Oh, okay. Um, you know what? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we can't go back to the original world, can we? And go maybe speak to Sid. See if he's got any ideas. I assume that we can't, but... Who knows? Okay, maybe we can. Right, where does Sid live? Uh, Canaan, was it? I'm probably way off base here. That's fine, though. Sid, we've got an airship problem, buddy. Please help us out. I don't know what happened to our world after the darkness came. I'd like to find out, but I can't leave Mrs. Sid all by her lonesome. You must go and see for yourselves. Okay, that's... Not that helpful, Sid. Okay. <laughs> um...
yeah, bear with me a second, guys. I'm going to have to look this up. Now, if it's a blind playthrough, I'd be less inclined to uh, do that, but... Like I say, I, I, as I, I basically know what I need to do, but I don't know how to do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you know Shadow, please just tell me, mate. It just <laughs> it'll save me looking it up. Yeah, go for it, buddy. Well, obviously, I understand that we need to get to Dogus Manor, but that wind is still blowing. So, and I just assumed the Invincible could, you know. Get over there, but obviously it just seems the Nautilus is needed. But wh where is the Nautilus? Nobody knows. Well, oh, is it okay? The Cave of the Ancients. Uh... Oh yeah, <laughs> I can see it on the map. <laughs> it's, the, it's the green blob that's on the map. <laughs> oh god, what an idiot! Excellent, thank you, Shadow. Appreciate it. <laughs> I would have felt like an right idiot if I looked that up. I mean, oh, oh, right, there's the Nautilus. I can't believe I'm looking at the map and then... Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, Shadow. Appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> I mean, you know, I never claim to be a genius, but obviously there's limits. <laughs> There we go, there it is. Excellent. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Greatly, greatly appreciated, Shadow. <sighs> Why can't the Invincible be this quick? And go underwater. You need one ship that does everything, basically. Which I, I, I kind of assumed that's what the uh, the Invincible was going to be. But never mind. Excellent. We're back on track, though. Alright, come on, you flying manta rays. Frost fly. Eh. It's mean. Okay. <laughs> I'm still going to use ice on them. Alright. Too easy. Weak. Hmm. Looks like uh, Ingus just hit damage cap there. Nice Ingus. Right. Almost there. He did as well. My God. I guess that's... I mean, part of you thinks like, ah, oh, damage cap. My damage is capped. But then, on the other hand, it's like... Good. <laughs> you want him to do, be doing that much damage. Right, here we go. Come. It is time for Une and I to give you what we have prepared. Where are you guys? We can't see you. Okay, dropping a teleport on the floor. Step on the circle and make your way through the tunnels. We shall await at the end. Okay. Trying a little dungeon at us, I guess. Gotta get something good at the end. Right, Doga's Grotto. Okay. Full of enemies, of course it is. Cyclops. Yeah, we're gonna kick, we're gonna murder you, Cyclops. Oh, yeah, they hit. They got a nice little hit on them, but they're not uh, multiplying like the previous enemies we've been fighting. So, cool, Mike. Sounds fun. Go for it, buddy. That's the only problem with video games, isn't it? There's just uh, you know, I hate. To I'm loath to say this, but this there's too many of them. <laughs> but, you know, I've, I feel like I've got to cover the important ones on my stream, so 
Hence why we are currently going through the Final Fantasy and Resident Evil series. Alright, who's this dragon? Periton. Okay, I guess this is the next uh, tier of Wyvern, we thought. But that's fine, you got Ingus doing his max damage. Hey, level up for Raphia, excellent. Ooh, what lovely treasure do we have? 10,000 gil. Thanks, Doga. <laughs> Appreciate you leaving that little present there for us. Definitely going to need that when I'll do some shopping later. All right, what we've got here? Ogre and Humbaba. Humbaba! Guess that's the upgraded uh, Cat of Bleep Ass. Right, okay, so the Ogre's just got a basic attack on it. So this seems a lot easier than the uh, Cave of Shadows we were just at, honestly. Damn, giving some good XP. I wonder if we can come back here after the fact. We'll have to wait and see. Ooh, another 10,000 gil. Been spoiled now. Oh, who are these guys? Nemesis. All right, we've been dealing with him in Resident Evil 3 recently. Uh, <laughs> let's hope he's, these aren't as much of a pain in the backside. I've got pretty high defense. And got a, t a strong punch on them. Okay, just m murder Raphael. That's, you know, that's not the first time we've seen that happen. Bless her. Oh, don't doubt it, Mike. There's always a lot to do in MMOs, but... You know. I don't, <laughs> I've recently just come off playing Final Fantasy fourteen, so... You know. Definitely not time to be starting a new one. Maybe for your birthday or something, Mike, I'll... Uh, I'll play it on stream or something. But I definitely can't be getting into it. At all, seriously. Alright, which way are we going first? Uh, this way? Oh! Oh, we're getting spoiled now. Lust Dagger. Okay, that sounds pretty good. But seemingly, it's not for Red Majors. Okay. Rising Sun. What is the Rising Sun? Uh, th a throwing weapon, maybe? Yes. Yeah, throwing weapon. So, not needed at the moment. Might try it on a different job. Right. White Musk. Now, we know the Black Musk KOs enemies. What does the white mask do? Deals light damage. Okay. I guess that's handy. Oh, yeah, yeah, Shan. <laughs> yeah, you just pull out the. What's this? Oh, it's the Japanese flag. Okay. <laughs> oh, I suppose you could, like, maybe wrap it around yourself if you're a bit cold. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, well, is that the original Fable? Sorry, guys, let me just get rid of this absolute scumbag uh, bot we've got in the uh, in the chat.
So I just send a little uh, message to Twitch there for what good it'll do. Keep getting hit by these scumbags, don't we? And then we'll block. There we go. Oh, fa sorry about that, Shadow. Fable 2. Yeah, I think uh, Fable 2 was the first one I played of the Fable games, and it's probably my favourite. I don't know about you. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. They're banned. Re banned and reported to Twitch. Uh, you'd think they would give up by now, but seemingly not. Never mind. Anyway, let's kill these nemesis, ne nemesises, nemesi, nemesi. That's the plural of nemesis, isn't it? Oof, they do hit hard. Right, oh, sorry about it, guys. Oh, right. You never actually played it yourself. Your buddy just told you about it. That's, it's a fun. It's a fun series. I like them. Um, I definitely feel like Fable 2 is the best best of them, but maybe that's... I don't know, maybe I was biased because it was the first one I played. Hard to say. I, I definitely would recommend giving it a go at some point, if you like kind of action RPGs. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, it's you know, it's not anything too complicated. Um, definitely a fun game, I would say. Right, so got an empty cave here. Oh, are you indeed, Shadow? Very nice, buddy. Paint me jelly. <laughs> now, are, does it have any actual? I've not honestly. I don't know too much about it. Does it have like? specific release games or any any exclusives and on the horizon or anything like that or is it just literally you're getting more bang for your buck with your uh like previous games and i do assume that it does have like full backwards compatibility as one would hope from a modern console ah new halo new gears of war mm, very nice now, I'm not too much of a Halo guy, to be honest. I've only ever played Halo 3. I enjoyed it well enough. Um, not really, you know, knowing much about the, like, the story or anything. However, Gears, I've played at least four of the Gears games, and I can definitely say they're a hell of a lot of fun, particularly if you've got a co-op partner to play with. All right, Chocobo's Wrath. All right, just disposable, uh, consumable damage item. Don't need that. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen the controllers. I assume they're very similar to the Xbox One controllers. Oh, for crying out loud. Poor Raphia. I need to on another job. I need to really as another mage in the back row. Rather than trying to get to... Uh, Be a damage dealing uh, melee red mage, really. Oh no, no, I've not shadow. I've not seen it. <laughs> I'm very, uh, I'm terrible at keeping up on like current news for games and gaming. To be honest, um, is there like any kind of release date or anticipated release date? You know, I mean, I don't even even need to know anything about it in the in the sense that if it's a final fantasy game i know that i'm going to like it you know what i mean so <laughs> so yeah i'll bet i think i'll probably watch that later the uh the trailer for it about 2022 yeah that makes sense it'll be here before you know it so i guess the trailer is just kind of like setting the scene for it as opposed to showing you any kind of gameplay or anything.
But yeah, I mean, I've never played a Final Fantasy game that I didn't like, so no doubt I shall enjoy that. Open world action RPG. Cool. That's that's that sounds fine. I'm not one of the you know I do I'm a lover of turn based combat, but also I'm not one of these people who is against you know trying out different things. You know, I, we've got a, a few viewers on this of this stream who, you know, they love the old school Final Fantasies, but maybe they're not too caught up on, you know, they're not feeling the new, the vibe of the newer Final Fantasies. I love them all personally, so bring it on. Ah, uh, okay, we're going like proper medieval style. Ah, uh, okay, because I mean. I'm not sure which was it. I've not played Final Fantasy VI, but I think that had like some kind of technology in it, didn't it? But uh, which I'm looking forward to playing on stream. But I know Final Fantasy VII, which was the first Final Fantasy I ever played, definitely embraced the whole. And I suppose maybe that's part of why I fell in love with it as a child. The whole, you know, fantasy cross with sci-fi. You've you know you've got magic, but you've also got lots of technology as well. And that's generally been, I suppose maybe Final Fantasy IX was a bit different. I'm not as familiar with that as well, but, you know, it's kind of, there's no harm in taking a step away from the science fantasy and just going full fantasy, medieval fantasy. That's, it's all good, isn't it? Yeah, I, did they take a step back with uh, Final Fantasy IX? I'm not as familiar with that one. I think that was just like purely like medieval fantasy. But either way, what I'm trying to say is I'm happy with whatever. But like you say, Final Fantasy XV, you know, wasn't uh, 13. That was like almost like full on tech, wasn't it? But um so yeah, I'll be looking forward to I'll watch that trailer later. Thanks, Shadow. Appreciate that. Um, here we go. It's Une and Doga. Good, you have come. We must now make the key to Eureka whole once more. Oh yeah, he did mention Eureka previously. What it actually is, we're not sure. We'll find out though. That's right. Put him up. What? But no, we can't. Listen to me very closely. Okay. In ancient times, there were weapons too powerful for mankind to use. Those weapons were sealed in Eureka, but now their time has come. And the Eureka key needs the energy from Doga and myself to be complete. Understand? It sounds like you're going to sacrifice your lives to make this key. That's what it sounds like. No! You can't ask us to... Doga! Unai! Unai! You can't fight you! Sorry, it's Unai. My, okay. It's <laughs> my dyslexia setting in there. <laughs> Unai. Not Unai, Unai. It must be done. Have it your way. If you do not defeat us, you will die. Oh my god, they're going to fight us. Okay. Doga attacks you. Okay. Oh my god, he's changed himself into some freaky monster. Uh, I assume he's going to be quite tough. So let's... Um... I'm not going to worry about chucking up Protect, I don't think. I'll just go heavy with the Cures. Oh! Oh, poor Ingus.
Come on, Ingus, get back up, buddy. We need you in the fight. Oh. Oh, dear. Dear me. Um, hmm, interesting. Just uh, getting back up again. Intent on keeping him down, isn't he? In fact, yeah, I do need to repeat everything I've just done, don't I? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, dearie me. Okay, I'm feeling maybe I'm not cut out to fight Dogra at the minute. Or at least I need to think my strategy a bit better. Oh my god. Um Ah, no more racers. Ah. I think maybe I should accept defeat uh, at this point. Um Let's not make any assumptions. Let's just give it a go at the very least. All right, now he's just going to use his AOE. No, oh, God. Uh, yeah, that didn't work too well, did it? Okay, he hits very, very hard. Um... When had I last saved it? That's the question. Okay, it was before I... Okay, it was just outside the Cave of Shadows. Have I cleared the Cave of Shadows? Oh, yeah, I saved it when I got back out, didn't I? I believe. Right, okay. Okay, so we lost a little bit of time. I should have... <laughs> Obviously, I should have saved it before I went into Doga's Manor, but never mind. Here we are. So, fighting Doga. He, oh, my God. He seems to be able to just, like, one-shot you. So, I don't know whether I need to um, think about trying some different jobs. Maybe jobs where people can just ha hang on the back row and be of some use. Um, not too sure. I'll think about it for a minute. Now, I definitely did save it after I got out of uh, the, du the uh, dark caves there, didn't I? I'm sure I did. Damn, Nautilus, so quick.
Right, guys, we're going to take a two minute break. I'm just going to make uh, another coffee and I shall and refill water and I shall be right back. Bear with me, two minutes. Right, sorry to keep you waiting there, guys. Oldest nib is back. Right, so Doga. Uh, he seems like a bit of an issue. Um, so he had, he's got like a really strong physical attack. But he's also got a, a really strong ma magic AoE as well. Um... So I'm, I'm wondering if it's kind of just like a mage type battle that I need to do. Um, right, well, we'll I'll do a little experiment first. What I'll do, I'll head through the uh, dungeon again. And I'll make sure to save it just before the boss fight. <laughs> um, and what I might do is just kind of put everyone on the back row. 
Now that's going to help with the physical damage, but maybe not the magic damage. And just go heal heavy. And maybe I might be able to, you know, eke out a victory. We'll, we'll give it a go. We'll see how it goes. If not, then I'm going to have to uh, probably try some different jobs. Which I may, I may need to kind of take some time to level. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Give it a try. Well, I mean, yesterday, just before we finished, we had the Garuda fight. And it took me three goes to do that. So, And I've just managed to get through it. So, um, yeah, let's, let's just get back down there and give it another go. So, uh, Shadow, if you're still there, buddy, do you have a favourite Final Fantasy? And if so, what is it? I just love how much damage they're doing, the uh, Dragoon and Dark Knight, but obviously... If they're not tough enough to be taking, you know, hits on the front line, it's a bit of a problem. Oh yeah, sorry, this way first, isn't it? That's uh, nice and easy. Right, that's our Lust Dagger, Rising Sun. Oh. Welcome back, Metapod. Excellent. Do you have anything nice? I'm sure you did. You usually do. Unless you're just leftovers again, but I mean, to me, just leftovers sounds pretty good. <laughs> Right, yeah, so this room is just an empty room, isn't it? I don't... This is some, like, hidden sparkly thing. Doesn't seem like it, though. Never mind. Rice casserole? That sounds good to me. <laughs> oh, maybe I'm just easily pleased. I, I suppose it depend leftovers it all depends on what it is leftovers of, doesn't it? Yeah, I do love rice, though. Honestly, I could just live on, like, if I just had chicken with some kind of sauce and rice, I could just live on that forever. Right, 
Right, so what I'll do when we get back down here, um, I'll save it, obviously. Oh, we're getting back attacked. So like that is it. Um, and we'll give uh, Doga another go. Or two, depending. We'll see how it goes. Um, if it's not looking too good. I suppose what we'll probably do is I might just like level up a little bit. Which is, maybe that's not too exciting for you guys for the last hour. It's just a shame because I'm kind of getting the vibe that maybe if I uh, defeat Dogranune, I might be getting the uh, final crystal and the, fi and the final set of jobs. Which uh, would be interesting to look at. But um, we'll have to wait and see. If I can't do it, I can't do it. And I don't want to do it while you guys aren't here. So I'll just get them leveling other things. Hardly the end of the world. Do, 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 do. <laughs> or maybe not even other jobs are needed. Maybe it's just a case of just getting a few more levels under our belt. I don't know. Right, is this it? Not quite. Yes, sticky rice. Ugh. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> bad, bad, bad scholar. Yeah, that, I'm sure that would get the job done, mate. Oh, yeah. Just be like, you can't kill us, but we can't kill you either. <laughs> All right, okay, here we go. I still quick save. No need to waste any more time. Right, okay, let's go again, Doga. Now I've just—I know you weren't here, Meta, but I've just read these guys' dialogue, so I'm not, you know, gonna read it again. But yeah, Doga and uh. Une basically sacrificing themselves to create the key to Eureka, which will allow us to enter Eureka and obtain some super powerful weapons that have been locked away. Presumably, then we'll use those to fight Zande. Because um, obviously, the Warriors of Light don't want to don't, don't want Doga to die. Doga's like, well, fine, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll just attack you. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. That's, uh... I meant to put him on the back row as well, didn't I? Crying out loud. But yeah, the damage of the magic is just... I don't know, it's a bit too much. But I mean, we're doing fairly good damage ourselves. It's just... Right, um... I think protect doesn't protect against like magic at all, but he's, he has a, does have a physical attack as well. So yeah, it's just too much. You, you get he's too quick off the mark as well. Right, I'm gonna give right. That's a, that's a bust. I'm gonna give it one more go. Actually. 
have a pro proper opening attack and, <laughs> and actually prepare a little bit better. Now, no doubt it's tough, but, you know, I don't doubt. You know, he's not going to have like, a crazy amount of hit points, is he? Oof. I think he's got some kind of insta-kill ability as well there. Right, one more time, and I'll st I won't do it like an idiot. Oh, do you, you lose your, uh, cont Oh, you lose your actual, uh... Quick save. Okay, that's... If you die. Okay, that's annoying. Do you have to like do redo the quick save once you loaded it up? Okay, I didn't realise that. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> What's the point of that? <laughs> A one-use quick save. I mean, I guess I understand, but then you've got to kind of like reload it up. Okay, so <laughs> I think what I'll do. Yeah. Well, we'll what we'll do? We'll get back down there again for a start. That's what we'll do. Third time lucky, eh? Right. Didn't mean to do that arc. My apologies. Yeah, yeah, I'll see. Yeah, because if I do a quick save, which obviously the quick save sends you to the, you know, the the main menu, send so you load immediately load your quick save because you've loaded it, you've lost your quick save. So then you want to do another quick save, but then, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, you, like you say, Matt, it's literally. Oh, I've got to run out the house. I've got to finish playing for today. Do a quick save and then get back into the action okay so i think i don't know if i'm if i've got the right setup or, or uh if i'm leveled enough to actually take him on in any reasonable fashion So, I mean, in terms of the magic damage, in terms of the physical damage, you kind of want everyone in the back row. And magic damage, obviously, mages have better magic defense. So, I wonder if I need to, like, just level up some mages and have, like, a, a full on mage party. Maybe, like, have a Geomancer and an Evoker with a white mage. And a black mage, or I don't know. I don't know. Let's uh, clear out the dungeon again for a start. I don't want to waste any time, though. <laughs> oh, just catch an arc there. There we go. Damn, these Nemesai. It's like Ingus has been paralysed there. At least he didn't die in the fight or something. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know whether to just, like, just stick with this party makeup and just, it's a case that I just need 
you know, three or four more levels to get that edge needed to get through it. Or if it's, uh, you know, I need, I really need to think about using a different setup. Hmm. Okay, so I'm needing 30k XP per level. Um, so I seem to be getting between 2 and 3 per battle. So it's not too much, but still. Hmm, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, hmm. Third time picking up these treasures. <laughs> Never mind. <sighs> right. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, my vibe is telling me it's one or the other. Right. Yeah, I don't like I said. I don't really want to waste any time. Okay. So we picked up all the treasures. So just to. <laughs> Save us having to do that again. We're going to leave and save the game properly to start with. Right, second. Let's go in there and give him one more good go with our current party setup. I'll, what I'll do, um, first thing I'll do when I'll get there is uh, I'll move everyone to the back row just to give them that much extra little bit of defense. Um, and I might just have to like literally kind of get Luneth and Ingus to try and do the damage and Ark and Raphia just to spam cure basically <laughs> and see if that gets the job done. If not, then I'll, you know, I'm going to have to do one of two things, which is either just level up to get that edge or think about an actual completely different party composition. <laughs> Oof. Oh. Luneth. Can't have your statue, buddy.
Ah, uh, I forgot about haste as well. But again, I, I guess I can't cast that on the whole party, can I? It's kind of a problem. See, that's 5,000 XP for uh, that battle. Mmm. <laughs> okay, just admit it, Matt. You just want to, you just want to see a bard in the party, don't you? <laughs> Which I don't blame you, to be honest. Bard will bust. <laughs> You're probably right though, bud. That's that's what we need. Oh, I've got art casting stone again. <laughs> I don't think you're wrong, honestly. I think maybe I'm uh, underestimating the power of the Bard. Right, okay. Right, third time lucky. We'll give it one more go. Alright, you lot get on the back row. <laughs> oh god, these... Absolute scumbags. Sorry, let me just get rid of this another this bot. We had another bot earlier while you were out, Mel. They just won't leave me alone. Do they really think they're getting any money out of me? Do they really think I ha I have any money for them to get? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it won't be a sec. There we go. You you reported and blocked yet again, you absolute scum. There we go. I mean, look. I guess they must make money off of doing it, or what? Why would they? I don't know, but sure, they need to realise. They need to realise getting nothing out of old Isnib. <laughs> You'd not get, you know. <laughs> it's just not happening. You need to understand. If I never become affiliated on Twitch, I'm, it doesn't matter. I'd rather that than succumb to uh, your devilry. Your, your satanic ways. Keep your scummy sat satanism to yourself, bigfollows.com. Right. 
Here we go again, Doga. They're always trying to interrupt at the most inopportune times as well. Just trying to desperately draw attention to himself. Right. Here we go. So. Let's see. Yeah, can only put haste on one person. So. I don't want to spam cure on the first round. That's ridiculous. So let's chuck haste on Luneth. Um... I mean, poison's not going to stick, is it? Let's just get Rafe to chuck an arrow to start with. Now, perhaps I should try jump with Ingus, because then he's out of the way of damage half the time. Let's try that. Yeah, those melee attacks are far more, uh, you know, f <laughs> going to be f far easier to deal with, with them on the back row there. Now, yeah, okay, that's the only problem with putting Ingus up on his jump, is that uh, I can't heal him. So I'll have to watch out for that. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, okay, I mean... Let's try that. I'm going to play it as safe as I possibly can. And let's just hope for the best. Thing is, even if we defeat Doga, we've probably got to, uh, you know, then fight uh, Une. So, I mean... Oh, you're trying to drain Raphia there. Oh, my God. Hmm. Okay, look, Luneth, he's doing like two and a half K damage. That's pretty good. Let's try that. Alright, only 2k damage there. I assume the Protect didn't remove his haste. Just because they've not got the visual of it. That would be unfortunate. Oh my god, that drain. Very, very chonky. Now, I'm going to make Ingus hang around and do a normal attack. Just because I need to get a heal off on him. You know, and if I... Uh, or actually, I'll go for Protect and, yeah, get Raphia to uh, do the Cura. Because, um, you know, it might miss otherwise. He might jump up in the air and then that's the end of that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. He's an absolute beast. Let's 
That wasn't a very good hit, was it, Luneth? All right, get back up in the air, Ingus. That was a good hit. There you go. Just light cure, top everyone up a little bit. Right, Faraga. This I'm concerned about. Oh, Jesus. Right, oh, okay, Ingus. <laughs> I would like to put chuck heels on you, buddy, but I guess it's not happening this round. Oh, God, this is tense. Oh, Flare. No, not Flare and Arc. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted. Not flare. Not on. <laughs> not flare on my healer. At least kill Ingus or something. Ark. Ah, unfortunate. Oof. Oh! There we go! Sorry, Ark, you missed out on the XP there, buddy. 12,000 gil, nice. 4,500 XP. No doubt Luneth gained to level. And Ingus, too. Um, yeah, shame about Ark. Now, if I get a breathing space to... If I have to fight uh, Unai. Uh, sorry, Unai. Um, I might be okay. If I immediately get thrown into the battle, though, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Dolga! No! It's my turn now. Let's see what you're made of. Oh, nay. Don't make us do this. At least allow us to <laughs> revive our white mage first. <laughs> Be quiet. There's no time for talk. I want to kill you. <laughs> but this isn't one of them. That's right. There's a time for talk, but this isn't one of them. Now, how about you? But don't worry. Even if our bodies are lost. Our souls will still remain. Now take this. Okay, no break. Straight on to battle. Jeez, okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what are we going to do? I don't know. <laughs> let's, uh, let's try and get back up. Try and get back up. That's all we can do, isn't it? All right, Ingus. Um, I guess I'll send you on a jump, buddy. Yeah, it's a bit rough, isn't it, man? <laughs> I wish you could have just given us a little, you know, a little breather, but obviously not. So it's just what it is. All right, hate. She, all right, she's hasting herself. Oh! Let all I can hope is she's not got a flare ability like uh, Doga had. Oh, to oh, tornado on everyone! Oh, I just drop a tornado on everyone. This what? 
Okay, so Tornado just literally puts you on minimal hit points. Lovely. Very, yes, just lovely. Thank you. <laughs> can I pull? Can I pull this off? No. Okay, so I've got no razors. That's not good. Uh... <laughs> right, Curage on yourself, uh... Ark. Um... Oh dear. Um... Cure on yourself, Raphael. Uh, Ingus, you better use that Phoenix down, get Luneth back in the fight. Or try to. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. A tornado. That's what did it. Okay, let's try again. Oh, she's out of Cura. Okay, uh... <laughs> I guess Cure for what it's worth. Uh, um... Uh, Inga, start lobbing around some, uh, high potions, I think. Or not, if you're gonna die. Oh, God. Aeroga. Oh, dear. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> oh, we're in a... Oh, Raphael, we're in a bit of a bind, aren't we, my dear? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's over, isn't it? Basically. You've got to try, though. Let's go to the bitter end, at least. That tornado... That's awful. Oh, it missed. Okay, so it can miss at least. Ah. Oh dear, oh dear. No, no. It's that tornado that's the kicker. Yeah, Julie, I I think I, I'll be shocked if you got past this, son. <laughs> uh. Oh dear, oh dear. You know, I think I could have handled this fight had I been, uh, you know, if I'd got the break between the two bosses, but yeah, yeah. Well, looking at this, Julie, I would say consider yourself lucky. <laughs> How I managed to do this back in the day, I don't know. I mean, I guess I probably just like over leveled somewhere, which I might be doing this week. <laughs> I saw like, my Phoenix down, so what it's worth. Now, nah, there we go. Done and dusted, guys. Hmm. Right, okay. What am I thinking? 
I was kind of fudging my way through that, but I think, honestly, maybe a different party setup would be more beneficial. So, we haven't got two... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Meta. Yeah, it's like, oh, you've got 9,999 hit points and max defense. Oh, well, Tornado. Put you on one hit point and then hit you. Yeah. Now, we did see that tornado miss once. So maybe your magic defense helps with it, possibly, or evasion or whatever stat is involved with that. So I think I need to basically... I'm not obviously have time to do that today. But I need to think about building a different party of possibly mages. So obviously you're going to need a white mage for heals, obviously. Now, I think Bard is probably a good idea. Like you mentioned, Metal. You know, buffing the whole party. It's not going to be a bad idea, is it? But for damage, Major. So we've got Black Mage or Geomancer or Evoker. Hmm, either way, I can't obviously go, <laughs> I can't go into that battle with uh, level one jobs, you know. Um, that's what I'm leaning to at the minute. Go White Mage, Bard, Geomancer, Evoker, maybe. Excuse me. Um, right. Okay. We've still got 35 minutes to the end of the stream. Now, if we had longer, then I'd, I'd probably just get stuck into that grind now. Um, oh, how much of a grind it'll be. It might just be a few hours. Um, before I can have another crack at it but uh, obviously even though we've seen the, the two bosses on stream I don't want to retry fighting them until next stream because obviously we don't know what cutscenes we're going to get after that I don't want you guys to miss out on the actual story content of the game so as we've only got half an hour I think we might actually finish early today. You know, like I say, if if it was we were a few hours ago, it might be uh You know, I, I, like I say, I'm not trying to avoid grinding Final Fantasy games for for the stream, but obviously I'm more inclined to present the story. And do the grinding in my own time if needs be. So, like, if we got to this point at the beginning of the stream, you know, I'm obviously not going to finish, like, four hours early. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> we would spend the stream just hanging out while I was grinding, just chatting about things. But um, as we've only got half an hour to go, I think what we'll do for today is we will just finish early. You know, I don't do that often. Um, then during the week... I will play a bit myself, think about the party and composition and, uh, you know, level up in, probably in this cave here, actually. Seems a reasonable place. So, I mean, look, Ranger might be a reasonable choice. But then again, it's not going to have any extra kind of defense over, say, um, Dragoon or Dark Knight, is it? It's just going to maximise its damage from a back row. Now, we know we can kill Doga. It's just being in a, enough of a healthy place, a healthy position from that point.
Right, obviously, we're not using Scholar. I mean, would would Thief be good? I don't, uh, for evasion? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I guess we're not using the Warrior. <laughs> um, I don't know how I'll think about it. So guys, I think we'll uh, we'll actually leave it there today. I know I do apologise for finishing a little bit early, half an hour. It's not the end of the world. I <laughs> I do hope you forgive me, uh, but I think based on where we're at in the game and what I really need to be doing, I think it's probably best rather than you know by the time I've made a decision, uh, you're forgiven this time. <laughs> I better watch myself, eh, Matter. I don't want to get on your uh, bad side, that's for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's probably for the best. Uh, yeah, I think I'm leaning at the minute in the direction of uh, White Mage, Bard, Evoker, and uh, Geomancer. Or, or maybe Black Mage, I'm not sure. Because obviously Mages generally are going to have more um, magic defence. And obviously, being in the back row, they're they're no less effective. Um, so I have to think about who who does what. But uh, I don't know. I'll, we'll see. I'll think about it. I guess there's no right or wrong. But look, if I've got all week to do it, then we'll we'll you know have much time I put into it. We'll definitely be in a stronger position next week. Well, I feel we'll definitely be able to get through it. Um, but that's just the nature of Final Fantasy. Now, maybe there's super skilled people out there who can do the Final Fantasy games with zero amount of grinding. I suppose it depends on the Final Fantasy and, you know, there's certain, obviously there's a certain element of luck involved all, each time you fight any kind of boss in a Final Fantasy game. But I think that's what we're going to do. So uh, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much, guys, for hanging out. As always, I do appreciate it. And I do apologise for the uh, early finish today. Like I say, I would have got on... If it had been earlier in the stream, I would have got on with the grind now. But as it's so close to the end, it's a good place to finish. Oh, excellent. Bless you, Mike. I appreciate that, buddy. So... Uh, as always guys thank you very much i hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it uh, i'm definitely enjoying final fantasy 3 i think uh you got pizza so it's fine generally yeah i mean pizza generally makes everything better doesn't it i don't in fact i don't know what i'm having for my dinner tonight i do have a frozen pizza actually um it's a vegan one though so i mean i'm not too sure about that but you know, <laughs> and get three chances. <laughs> it, well, you know, you can't you can't have a nice belly and also eat pizza. Basically, we well, can if you work out like a psychopath. Um, but you know, don't 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 make a habit out of either of those. So, guys, uh, it's been a pleasure to spend the evening with you as always. We will be back in two days' time on Friday at the usual time, 5pm GMT. We will continue with our Resident Evil series. We are a little way into Resident Evil 3 at the moment. Now, hopefully we will finish that, if not on Friday, by Saturday. Um, got some, The next Resident Evil game is a little bit... Uh, I'll explain at the time when we get there. Rather than me trying to explain now. Um, so yeah, obviously, yeah. So Friday and Saturday, back on Resident Evil. And we'll be back on this Final Fantasy 3 on Tuesday. And also probably Wednesday, depending on how it goes. I don't think we'll complete the game in another five-hour stream. I'll spend any free time I get during the week uh, sorting out a decent party and levelling up a bit. Um, and hopefully, when we get back on Tuesday, we'll smash Doga and Une straight away, no problems. That's the plan. 
So, my lovely young warriors, thank you very much for hanging out. I appreciate you very much. Um, enjoy yourselves until next Our Paths Cross, which will hopefully be Friday. But if you can't make it, that's not a problem. I shall look forward to seeing you in the future anyway. So, until next time, I'll be seeing you. Take care of yourselves. Look after that health, physical and your mental health. Very, very important. But only you can decide what is best for yourselves, young warriors. Until next time, take care.